Okay, so this is going to be a real chill and informal interview just to kind of get to know you and what makes you, you. You ready? Yeah. Okay, describe a situation where you had to overcome a challenge, where you had to... The answer to question number one is six. If yes. this person got it incorrect, please mark it wrong. Ms. Kaczynski, what if this person wrote the right answer but didn't show their work? Then mark it wrong. What? You got it. All right, moving on to question two. What color suit was the crimson chin wearing in the Fairly Odd Parents? Do I even need to tell you the answer? Yes. Crimson, duh. Hold up, Ms. Kaczynski, if this person said red and not crimson, does that mean that they don't get the full credit? So it's still wrong, right? If they said red, you can give them half a point, not the full point. But what if they didn't capitalize the word? Then mark it wrong. Okay, that's what I thought. Ooh. Question number three. The correct answer is Beyonce. Yeah, uh, easy. Uh-oh, looks like this person forgot to put the accent over the E in Beyonce. Got him like a wrong. Moving on to question four. How do you spell USA? Miss Kaczynski, come on, y'all! Oh my gosh, that flower is so pretty. Yeah, but there's literally three flowers there. Yeah, I know there's three, but that one flower has a really unique, funky design that I like. Okay, but how can you say that when there are literally two other flowers standing there? Like, are you trying to say that those other flowers are not pretty? They are pretty. I just really like this flower. That is such a gross thing to say. All three flowers are beautiful. I never said that they were ugly. I just like that one. If you see a group of flowers, you say that all of them are pretty, not just one. I wasn't trying to be rude. I was just talking about that one flower. You are a disgusting human being and you are a bad person. Fine, all three flowers are pretty. You are literally just saying that. You know what, fine, they're all ugly. See, I knew you was a mean girl. I always knew there was something off about you. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, the food is ready to be served. Yes, I'm gonna need everybody in a single file. Adults first, adults first. Wanda, ease up on those portions. That's a heavy scoop of potato salad. My bad. All right, what you want, baby? I want, I, I want, I want Speak to... up, child. I can't hear you. I want jerk chicken, please. Nope, that's for adults. You're going to have a hamburger. But I don't want... I never, 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 never. Everybody listen up. All right, so we are out of barbecue chicken. Oh, that's all right. We need it. Correction. We are out of barbecue chicken and fried fish. Oh, oh my God. How you doing, Miss Singleton? You like the food? I sure do, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, I put extra paprika in there just for you. Mom, did I just hear you out of fried fish? Come here, come here, come here. Is that a whole tray of right. fish? Don't be telling nobody that I have fish. Thank you, right? Mom. There. Psst. I got fish on the low. Five dollars. Robert, you enjoying that mac and cheese? Show is, mm -hmm. Juanita. I know you are. Wanda, that's a heavy scoop. You want thin ice? I'm sorry, Juanita. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm keeping it up, and I'm moving you to napkin and utensils duty. No, Charlene. One thigh. One thigh. Excuse me, can I have some rice? I have a headache. No, nope, this area is closed. We're not serving no more food. Dang, auntie, I came too late. Oh, man, that's a shame that y'all closed. Oh, that's a shame y'all yeah. ain't got no more food. Of course we got food, baby. Let me just make it Thank you, you auntie. I appreciate that's it. That's not fair. How come he I said we closed, so beat it. Are you really guarding the food? Like, it's never that nope, serious. No, no, no. Hi, Miss Juanita. Can I take a to-go plate? No, baby. We saving this for people that didn't eat. All right, y'all. I'm headed out. This is my to-go bag. Can you, um, Terrence, can you handle the other trays, please, and help me take it to the trunk? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, hey friend. Hey friend, what you call us in here for? I gotta go to work. Yeah, friend, what's going on? Hey, Josh. Whatever. Why'd you bring this man? Yeah, somebody sick or right. Guys, nobody is sick. Josh and I just have to tell y'all something. You finally breaking up with this bum? It's oh, about time. Oh. Finally, you seen the light. No. Aww. We're having another baby. Kaima, oh, really, what happened to protection? Right. Right. I can't keep defending you, Kaima. Kaima, you real. cannot be serious. We have plans. You like, get pregnant every year. This I is love annoying. all your kids, boo but starting a soccer team is crazy. How could you give this Big Mac another baby? What happened to Cozumel 2025? Like? Exactly. Like, man, so on vacation like. Same year. reason she missed Jamaica 2024, Miami 2023, and bed 2022. You mad No, she really missed out on that trip to bed -Stuy. And Flatbush, too. Kaima, we were supposed to drink. Like, You keep giving on. this man kids and no ring. Like, I'm so tired of babysitting your kids, bro. Like, I love DJ and all them, but I can't keep them doing this. Them tax checks is never I that serious. I know your mama is tired of hosting gender reveals in her backyard. Okay, but I thought y'all was supposed to be my friends. Like, Clearly, you're replacing your friends with a football team. Kaima, we only just saying this because we love you. You know what? Her mama do be making the best baby shower meatballs. I'm not going to lie. No, for real. The way she be putting them jelly with them meatballs. Mm. And before I let go of the Don't forget the electric slices. Okay, so before we get started on your annual checkup, do you mind if I bring in some of our medical students to watch? Yeah, sure. Perfect. Come on, guys. Hi, how's it going? 
Bye. Yo, y'all smell it. Oh my gosh, I know you from high school. Looks like somebody overdue on their Brazilian. All right, let's spread them. Y'all are literally gonna get along so well. Like, hey, there's my honey bun. Come in. Hi, Daddy. Uh, oh, y'all close, close. Oh, sorry, man. I don't got a dog. No, Trey, this is my boyfriend, Alex. Yeah, I'm not homeless. The dude that I was telling you about. Oh, my bad, man. I thought you was homeless. For you real. so crazy. It's good to meet you, though. Listen, you ain't telling me you got a boyfriend. I'm being replaced. Trey, yes, I did. You always got a special place in my heart. I'm boo. playing with you. I'm playing with y'all. Babe, I'm so glad that you and Trey finally met. Like, Trey is literally one of my best friends. Like, he's like a brother to me, for yeah, real. Yeah, we be doing a lot together, for real. Oh, really? No, babe, we real, real close. Like, everybody be thinking that we dating, for real. Let's see. We got our nails done together. We gossip together. He gives me the best back massages. He always gets in between the toes. And we be having slumber parties like this. And don't forget, I'll be helping you try and close in the fitting room. What? No, like, we really that close. Like, we real platonic for real. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little shocked that she picked you for real. You don't seem like her type. Oh, really? Then what's her type? Me! Wait, huh? <laughs> Trey, you so irritating. Listen, you could do better for real. He look like a squirrel. Excuse me? You right, brother? You look like you've seen a ghost. Or worse, some competition. What you do? I'm, I'm playing! Listen, she be telling me about y'all's relationship. About y'all's relationship, especially when y'all fight. And I don't like seeing my little snickerdoodle upset. All I'm saying, brother, is you better not mess up. Because if you slip up, I'm going to catch her when she falls. And you know I'm protected, so she might slip in my arms. She's in good hands, and bro. And I might catch her. Sure will. All right, I'm going to get us some drinks. All right, babe. All right, cool, cool. <clears throat> Let me ask you a question, brother. Can you fight? Can you? Hi, ladies. Are you guys ready to place an order? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's start with the birthday girl. What are you going to get, hon? Um, can I have the steak and potatoes, please? Okay. How would you like your steak? Uh, medium well. Okay. And what about you, hon? I'm going to have the chicken quesadilla, but with no sour cream. Okay. And what about you, sweetie? Um, can I get the chicken fajitas? <gasps> wow. wow. Are you kidding me? Uh -huh. Girl. Are you really going to order chicken fajitas on my birthday dinner that I invited right. you to? Right. Denia, not everything is about girl, you. Girl, you really disgusting. I wasn't trying to. Mm -hmm. See, I had a feeling mm -hmm. that she was trying to be in secret competition with me. Mm. But I didn't know it was gonna be like that, friend. Now my eyes Ayana, are open. Ayana, are you serious? My eyes are open. I'm a weird. You're now. weird. Tonight you purposely been. trying to take the attention away from her. Right. That's weird. You know, no, type right, stuff. For real. You're weird. I clocked out a mile away. I'm really being upstaged by chicken and bell peppers. Like, Why does it matter? Be so for real, Denia. You ordered that food because you know that all the attention was going to be on you with that clock, mm -hmm. man. Like, stop playing dumb. For real. It's your last day playing dumb. No, like, you always try to act like you mm -hmm. didn't do nothing and you always do that shady stuff. Like, no, like, for real. No, I like, can't you really it. put her in competition with a skillet and chicken. Okay, let's see got a chicken quesadilla. Do quesadilla sizzle. Do quesadillas sizzle. That's they sure no sense. Mm, now we sure gotta eat our food in peace because we think it is fireworks. Whole time okay, it's but it's food. in the same family that no, no it's, it's not. not. Sizzle. Key word. Sizzle. Okay, can I get chicken tenders and fries, please? Thank you so much for coming, Miss Juanita. I'm so glad that we can have this special moment together and bond. Baby, I'm only here because my son said he would agree to pay this month's car now. Okay, dress number one. Are you guys ready? Sierra, <gasps> stop. Sierra. I can't. I can't with you. I don't like it. You look pregnant. Excuse uh -uh. me. That's because I am pregnant? Oh, yeah. I forgot this was a non-traditional wedding. Okay, dress number two. Oh, wow. my God. Hey, Next dress. Absolutely not. You look like an usher at a church. <laughs> Doo-doo. Excuse me, miss. Would you care for a complimentary beverage while we wait for the next dress? Do you have wine? Yes, we do have some Chardonnay. Like, more specifically, red wine? Oh, no red wine. Just so nothing accidentally spills on the gowns and stuff like that. We that was the point. Excuse me, can I please try on some of your wedding dresses for myself? Oh, You know, I'm the yeah. mother of the groom, so, you know, I want to look good. Of course. Just put it on Sierra's card. All right, y'all, here comes the Is bride. Miss yeah, yeah, Juanita, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, baby. Okay, um, Miss Juanita, I love you. I don't mean to be rude, but this is my wedding, and I just really want it to be like that. Sierra, a... I'm allowed to wear something nice if I want to. No, I know, I It know. ain't always about you. But it's my wedding. Yeah, but I was just I've trying I've been waiting to... for over an hour to deliver my package, and nobody was here to process it. Yeah, because I was on lunch. You know what? That's all good. So I just really need to mail this thing Yeah, out. baby, you're going to have to wait for another hour, because I'm about to go on lunch. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just came back from lunch. What are you talking about? No, that was my pre-lunch. Now I'm going to my actual lunch. What? What? What the?
Hi, I would like to mail out this package. What is this? It's the box. My package is inside. Well, why isn't it taped up? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have tape available. Can I just borrow some tape from here? Nope, or? nope. You can step out of the line step out and of then line? tape it what? up and then go to the back of the line to do I it again. I can't just tape it here. Are you serious? No. Are you kidding? Good morning. I hope your day is going just well. Just put the package in the bin, girl. Okay, I have my label printed. Oh, wait, I messed up. Can I just borrow the package? No. Nope. What the? I messed up the zip code and you won't even let me borrow up. No, like, you can get you your own. You can step. Why would I step no, out of line? No, you can step out of line and go to your car and get a it's pen and go to the back of the line. It's not even your pen. Sorry, Why are you no. gatekeeping a pen? Hi, I would like to mail this out with this Baby, address. we can't mail that out. Why? What's wrong with it? I checked the list and it's not even hazardous or anything. It's fine. Like, why can't Oh, I there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't feel like doing it. <laughs> Hamas, I came back. Uh, are you done with your lunch now? Brenda, I'm going on post lunch. What? What? Okay, congratulations to the new parents. Have Thank we decided you. on a name for the baby? Yeah, his name's gonna be Viral Sensation. Are you serious? Okay, okay, so just walk with me, right? So the reason- I'm not walking anywhere with you until you change that name. Okay, and what's her name gonna be? Nevea Dior. Did you just give up? Yeah, I just wanna get out of here for real. Okay, and what will the name be for the baby? We're naming him Legend, Legend Robinson. And what did he do to become a legend? Nothing. No, seriously, there's like 13 other legends in the nursery right now. Okay, and what's the name for the baby? We were thinking Pepper. Oh, that's actually kinda cute. Lemon Pepper. I'll come back when you wanna be serious. Okay, and what's the baby's name? Linda Karen. What, she gonna be working at HR tomorrow? Okay, and have we decided on a name? I was thinking Rose, like my Rose. I'm only writing down Rose, thank you. Okay, and what's the baby's name you're gonna be putting on the certificate? We kinda like the name Hawk Tua, you know, it's very- I'm gonna come back in five minutes and that baby's name better be Jessica. I'm afraid to ask, but what will the baby's name be? We're going with Barnaby Hubert, that's his dad's name, so we're Did just you kinda... lose the bet against your husband or something? Fight back! Okay, and what will the baby's name be? We're naming him Jaquavius. Fine, you know what? Fine, fine. How do you spell that? <laughs> Get ready with me to go to my distant cousin's friend's other friend's other friend's other friend's wedding. Okay, so my distant cousin's other friend's other friend's other friend's friend Brittany is an influencer and she's getting married and I'm kind of going as like her plus one. I am literally so excited to stir up drama, I mean party. Honestly, I literally have never been to like an influencer event. I mean wedding, but I'm so stoked, honestly. Also, I majored in journalism, so I'm strictly here to just get top secret information on the ride. Okay, so this is the finished look. Is this giving like main girl center of the attention? I think so. Hi baddies, I'm back from the wedding and I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit disappointing and I made sure to write everything down. The wedding honestly didn't even meet my expectations, not even the slightest, and I was getting a little bit of secondhand embarrassment. I was expecting a thousand people there, but there were only like 500. It was literally giving. I mean, I was under the impression that it was gonna be like the royal wedding or the Ambani wedding, but it turns out it was just a really plain wedding. And I'm not trying to be messy, but I think Miss Brit Brit is going broke. And the crazy part is I even had a veil and a bouquet and her husband still didn't even look at me like, and there was like no photo booth, no paparazzi. Honestly, I was kind of sad and I was expecting a lot of celebrities to be there. Not even Jay-Z was there and I was so disappointed because I love Jay-Z. They even made us put our phones away, but knowing me being a journalist, I could not keep my phone away. But unfortunately it wasn't really vlog worthy. And no shade to Britney, but for someone with 9 million followers, that's kind of sad. And before you guys get mad at me, I am someone that is allowed to have an opinion. And yes, I am doing this for clout. Hello. Hi, welcome to Claire's. What can I do for you today? Um, I have an appointment at two. It's my first time getting my ears pierced, and I'm not sure which one I should get. No problem. Our popular procedures right now are the lobotomy or the Trump special. What's the Trump special? <laughs> Yeah, I think I just want my lobes pierced. I'm just really nervous. Sweetie, you are going to be fine. The procedure is super painless. Oh my gosh, this is so painful. My ear is burning. Um, is someone screaming? No, sweetie, that was just the AC in the background. But don't worry, this procedure is super quick. This feels like an eternity. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure I just heard somebody screaming. Like, also, literally, after you get your first piercing, you're going to be coming back more and more for more piercing. I'm never coming here to get my ears pierced again. You seem really nice, so let's just do it. It's better to go to a licensed professional than in someone's basement. Honey, who said I was licensed? Okay, just sign there. Right. Yep. Okay, so come follow me to the back. Um, excuse me, I was here the other day and my ear is now green. Um, oh, that's normal, baby. Just put your ear in some rice. Wait, what? 
Okay, sorry, I just had some wings earlier. Okay, um, so are you not gonna wash your hands? Uh, no, why would I do that? Okay, so before I pierce your ear, it is 100% guaranteed that you will have an infection and a 96% chance that your ear will fall off. But only 4% of the people just get the infection. So we're still good to go. Wait a minute, what? Hold on. Hold okay, I'm gonna take that as a guess. Okay, this is just gonna be a pinch. Amanda, hand me the drill. What? Brenna, you cannot be serious. No. Being allergic to shellfish at 30 is a sign of immaturity. Stop. No, you should have been got over that. That's bad childish. Nah, I cannot stand a man that dips his toe in the water before jumping in. Like, what are you scared for? I'm saying. My thing is, how do you expect to be my man when you're not even the leader of your own friend group? Like, that's weird. No, it really is weird for real. Right? Like, I expect to date the supervisor and not the employee. That's what I said. But my thing is, why are you as a fully grown man requesting a life jacket at a pool? Like, you scared to take risks? Right, like, you scared to drown? Like, come on now, be so for real. Right! He had the nerve to tell me that he makes a six-figure salary. Whole time, it's only a hundred thousand dollars. That does not count. Right? You just like you started. just made it. Like relax. No, like, that's no. Before taxes. I don't care what anybody says. As a 31-year-old man, why do you have a peanut allergy? Like, that's mad and embarrassing. embarrassing. So embarrassing. Yeah, but like as a grown man, why are you needing reading glasses? Like, it's a little bit sassy to have vision. Like, hey, boo. Hey, sis. What's wrong, friend? Something stink or something? Sis, are you wearing deodorant? Of course I'm wearing deodorant. It's 97 degrees outside. Why wouldn't I? The aluminum kind, like the one with the chemicals? Uh, no, boo. I found this natural deodorant recipe. I mix onions, toothpaste, orange juice, broccoli, Cheeto dust, butter, and powdered sugar. It's so much healthier for your body. And it's way better than putting all those toxins in your body. Lift so your arms up. No! Your arms up. No! Your hey, guys. I'm so sorry I'm late. Uh, like, <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Hey, girl. Well, like, are y'all two, like, friends or something? Or No, girl, we were just talking. We actually pulled up at the same time. Yeah, I recognized her from an Instagram post that you tagged her. See, I'm so glad I got here when I did because y'all two look like y'all both in distress without me. Like, it's all right. Calm down. I'm here to get rid of the awkwardness. No, girl, we fine. Okay, so, like, what were y'all talking about? How did you two converse? We actually found out that we went to the same school. Yeah, we had that psych class together. It was crazy. It's a little weird that you guys have something in common, like, without involving me. So uh, crazy. How come I didn't know about this? Are we, like, keeping secrets? <laughs> you guys don't have a secret group chat where you talk about my narcissism and how self-absorbing i am right no uh, why would no. we even uh what kind of drinks did you guys order oh we both just got water for now since you know natalie i did not know you were a water drinker that is crazy yeah asia actually recommended that i should try it i heard it's good it's so good okay i just want to make it clear that this is not going to be a trio friendship group because i don't really want you guys secretly conspiring against me and eventually kick me out the friendship group and then talk about my demise you know what i mean what, what? get in get in Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom so you guys have fun here. Don't be lonely without me, y'all. I'm gonna be gone for like nine seconds, okay? All Don't right. Have too much fun. All right, but we'll be here. <laughs> Wait, so I didn't know your uncle plays the clarinet. Mine played the trombone. That's crazy because I play the trombone. Like, I heard it's like such a crazy. Listen, I'm gonna keep it real. Y'all daddy was a bad person. <gasps> Listen, y'all keep saying, oh, he looking down on us. No, he looking up. What? Oh my Who keeps that? getting hit the mic? On, that's disrespectful. I told y'all to put him on the way 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 way. Today, we celebrate the life of Lawrence. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop. Stop. I know. Get off that man's headstone and put the flowers back. All right, everybody gets one wing and one thigh. Shauna, I see three drumsticks on your plate. Come put it back. No, no, no. I'm just grabbing this for my mother. No, you can tell Miss Gladys to bring her wheelchair and wheel herself over here for her plate. Thank you. All right, table seven. Oh, take me with her. We got all right, you. it's all right. Come on, it's all right. It's all right. To, to the, the right, right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left. To all the right, right now. See, this family is so cheap. Like, why would they choose this venue out of all places? I thought Lawrence was loaded. I guess not, friend. They're probably still fighting over that money in probate court because mm. it looked a little broke to me. Come on. <sighs> you ain't a real man if you can't fight. But Uncle Roger, I'm not. Stop Roger, it, Roger. Please. Oh, so you scared? Listen, if I owe the IRS $4 million, I would have faked my passing as well. Harold, shut up. You know that's not true. Why you think the casting was closed? Ain't nothing in there. Okay, so this is just going to be a brief phone interview, so let me just pull up your resume really quick. <clears throat> oh, wow. You have a lot of good qualifications. You definitely seem to have tons of experience on your belt, so that's good. Wow. I mean, you are definitely overqualified for this role. You're perfect. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to ask you a couple of background questions really quick. Okay, do you have a disability? No. Are you a veteran? No. Do you identify as Hispanic or Latino? Nope. Okay, and lastly, what race do you identify as? I'm black. Hello? Okay, is it me or is this app just not hitting no more? I'm only saying this because it's like late at night right now and like, you know, everybody asleep. Like, this is just like my late night thoughts. 
I just feel like this app is slowly turning into Instagram. Like, it's not about, like, dances no more. It's not about, you know, funny content. Everybody wants to be the next content creator because they see the amount of money that TikTokers have made on this app over the years. And now everybody's talking about some strategic stuff, like post three times a day. Y'all are comparing yourselves to, like, other people on this app. Like, it's a new person y'all compare. Like, oh, if blue sweatpants could do this, so could I. If this girl could get 14 million likes, so could I. Oh, my gosh, if her baby... Like, I just feel like, oh. And don't even get me started on a controversy. It's like every week y'all find somebody new to talk about just to go follow them two weeks later. Talking about some, oh, they can never make me hate you. Uh, like, I just, like, it's like a cycle. And I'm like, is anybody else kind of tired of it? And the crazy part is, anytime, like... An influencer or a creator like has had enough and it's just like you know sets boundaries with some of you it's like oh my gosh she's crashing out or oh she let the money change her it's not about that a lot of you have never had thousands of people coming at you every single day every minute of the day the whole time these people don't even know you so to have all these people dogpile on you for for no reason is it takes a lot on somebody mentally so it's not them crashing out or it's not them like, you know, changing or whatever. It's just a lot of y'all have never been in that situation where you have thousands of people sending like, you know, threats and all that stuff to you over like, I'm not gonna say over nothing, but it's just like over things that like you would not say to them in real life. These people have, like, they have to stand up for themselves. Cause I'm always seeing videos like, oh, they knew not to make me an influencer cause I would have been canceled the next day. It's like, Y'all just be canceling people over the craziest stuff. And I'm not talking about the problematic stuff. I'm talking about stuff that, like, like, oh, she wore red on a Tuesday. Let's cancel. Let's get her. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. And then it's like, then you want them to apologize. They make an apology video. Y'all don't like it because y'all already had a death set in your mind. Y'all not going to mess with them, whatever. And people are getting so demanding now, like, asking you to speak on things. Ask, like, drama that you're not even in. And if you don't, then you're in the wrong. Asking you for money. If you say no, then you're in the wrong. Like, I just feel like, what's going on with this app? Like, it's just, I don't know. I started noticing it, like, maybe, like, halfway through 2023. Like, it's just not the same no more. People are so obsessed with the idea of becoming famous and, you know, running up, you know, their commentary for views because like i just feel like we lost the plot a little bit i feel like this app kind of turned into like a clout chasing app like even in the comments like people purposely like to write comments just so they can go viral and get their 15 minutes and speaking of going viral and get the 15 minutes it's like every time there's like somebody that like just ends up being famous for like a week y'all sit and be like oh we're gonna forget about them like they don't deserve their platform oh they're, they don't deserve to be famous oh why is she getting all these views like she's milking the situation i'm like but you guys keep talking about her and i'm talking about what i'm talking about the hawk to a girl i don't really care for her that video like literally old men found it funny but i'm just saying like if y'all don't y'all don't like her but y'all keep talking about her and putting her on the for you page and i'm seeing videos like oh my gosh this girl got a new truck oh this girl like did this and that now i gotta start posting three times a day and then you post three times a day and you wonder why your videos are not interesting because you're not adding personality you're just posting a lot of the people that you see think of your favorite creator right now what do you like about them you don't know them so what do you like about them you, it's it's their personality. It's how they come off. They create videos that are really entertaining. But it's just like, I feel like y'all are so obsessed with making money on this app. Like, it just, the app just don't feel the same no more. It's just starting to feel like Instagram. It's just, it's always drama. It's always, you know, somebody saying something. Everybody goes wild. And y'all, like, forget about it. Like, it's just like, y'all are always reporting tea. Like, it's just, it's not, it's not the same no more. I don't know. Maybe because I'm just like a comedy creator and I like people I like you know making myself laugh and I just like seeing things that cheer me up like I don't know like I wonder what's gonna happen if they take this app away low-key and the crazy part is y'all shame people for doing well like anytime somebody does something well for themselves y'all are just like mm, they're not relatable anymore or oh she's like she's showing off she's making us feel like we're poor or whatever and whole time like she she got a car or whatever and i know there's a lot of people that don't have cars there's a lot of people that don't have enough but it's like some of these people are not rubbing it in like they just happen to have it you know how many people in my dms were asking me like for money and stuff like that asking me to send them 400 dollars because i quote unquote looked like i was well off because i had mad followers 
First of all, why are you asking a stranger for money? That will never... And lastly, another thing. I feel like y'all also, like, normalize bullying and dogpiling over somebody with an opinion. And when I mean opinion, I'm not talking about a problematic opinion. I'm talking about an opinion that's just not like everybody else's. What's, what's the... um? What's the video? That stiletto, the green dress, and the black heels lady. Like, okay, she said something really silly, but y'all are low-key taking it to a point where, like, y'all are calling her ugly. Y'all are, like, it's just, it's just getting, it's getting a little bit too weird. I feel like y'all are some bullies in the comments. Not even just, like, with her video, but it, it'll be, like, other videos, too. Like, where somebody's just enjoying themselves, and then, like, y'all will, like, make comments. Like, oh, I ran to the comments, that type of stuff. And it's just, I don't know, like... That's all I have to say. I know y'all sleep, but... Okay, next in line. Hi, how are you? Hi, can I get a name? Amanda Jenkins, 12193. Okay. Can you spell your name? It's A. Got it. Mm, okay, so I see it's like three prescriptions. Yep, that's correct. Okay, give me one second. Wait, why do you have a... Shut up! What? You got the anti-feminine rash cream? Wait, the what cream? The feminine rash cream. Oh, no, it ain't ready yet. Okay, what about the antifungal cream? Wait, repeat that one more time. The antifungal cream. This lady right here needs it. Which lady? I don't see her. Hold on, Shauna. Let me put a flashlight on her. This girl right here. Y'all see her? Oh, I see her. I gotta make it right now. Okay. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not ready yet. Okay, you know what? It's fine. I could just come back another time when nobody else is here. Okay, well, what about the Ozen? No, cancel the entire order, please. Okay. Thank you. You sure? I'm sure, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Are you sure there are no other flights today? This is ridiculous. There's got to be another plane going out, like, for real. Baby, I promise you, ain't nobody else going to Reykjavik, Iceland, but you. What do you mean the system is down? I have to get my flight. Baby, there's nothing I could do. Our entire system is down due to the outage. <sighs> is there any other form of transportation? I have to go. Yeah, you could walk. What? Excuse me, I know the flight is fully booked, but can I please switch to an aisle seat? And I would like to be Beyonce, but we can't always get what we want, can we? What does that- I can't believe we're literally stranded in the middle of nowhere, all because you guys messed up our flight. Right. Baby, the best that we can do for you is give you a one penny off discount on your $500 <sighs> flight with a small bag of animal crackers. Are you serious? You're I'm not going to spend another $500 on a flight. Like, that's ridiculous. Well, Welcome to Idaho. What? Go ahead and put your luggage on the scale. No problem. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, perfect. Just under 50 pounds. That's amazing. <laughs> Wait, why is the number going up? Wait, your foot is on the scale, man. I don't I don't know what you're yes, talking it, about. Yes, it I, is. I don't know what you're talking yes, about. Up oh, over the limit. $200 oh, extra. Me, nope. Are there any other flights going to Cancun today? My sister's getting married tomorrow and I can't miss it. Please. Oh, Ugh. there's another flight going to Cancun that's leaving today. The next flight isn't going to be for another two weeks. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. When does it leave? That was it. What? Joe. Joe. Huh? You heard you out of the election, right? What? Who out? You, baby. What you mean I'm out? Oh, uh, you kind of told us last night. When did I do that? Who said that? Baby, you told us. You tweeted it. I did? Yeah, ain't this you? You use Microsoft Word? Give me my phone. Give me my... See? Oh, I did. Well, actually, we kind of wrote it for you, though, so... Oh, I, I know. All right. That's cool, though. Yeah, you got four months, and you got to pack it up. Oh, and then we decided to make Kamala the president, so... Who's that? Your Honor, she's clearly lying on my client. How so, Miss Washington? Be so for real. The girl wears skims. At 9.31 p.m., your client clearly tweeted, yeah, I did it. Okay, not too much on my client now. He said he was hacked. Your Honor, my client is literally just a girl. Your client is a grown man. Was it premeditated or was my client simply just standing on business? Mm. She got a point. She got a point. Um, objection, Your Honor. Where does it say that? It's literally the law, the one you went to school for. Okay, you have to eat me up like that. You have to like, I'm the one on the chopping block. And instead of calling 911, the defendant clearly decided to order lemon pepper wings. Your Honor, that is clearly false. It was actually Louisiana rug. What? Your Honor, you know Mercury was in lemonade. It wasn't even in him last night. He's a zebra rising. Yeah, Miss Washington, that really does not help your case at all. I'm not gonna lie, we getting good. <laughs> <laughs> he literally ruined all of my one size makeup. And Objection, just... Your Honor. It was Charlotte Tilbury. My client is innocent. Period. Uh, what? Where does she even get a mic from? Baby, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not looking too good for you. You done. <laughs> we, the jury, find the defendant guilty of all counts. Mm -hmm. See, you better than me, friend, because I wouldn't take that disrespect. You really going to take that sentence? You were supposed to defend me. See, I know you going to prison, friend, but you still got to pay me. You got Apple Pay? 
With what phone? Oh, wait. <laughs> Now, like, I don't be partying like that. All I do is go to school, go to work, and sleep. Like, wow. I don't be partying like that. Like, I'm too old for that. Like, that's just not me. Right. I never wear makeup. Like, the only time you see me wearing makeup is if I'm wearing, like, mascara. And, really? And, like, I don't even wear mascara like that. Like, only if I'm going to formal. But, like, I don't go out like that. So, like, right, right. I just don't be wearing makeup. I can't stand girls who don't like anime and sports. Like, remember when the Yankees scored that touchdown? Nah, I got European in my family. Like, I'm 0.4% European. Nah, everything about me is rare. Mm. Like, I'm literally a dying breed for real. Like, my ex still be thinking about me to this day. Girl, y'all broke up six years ago. He's engaged now. Like, let it go. She's just a placeholder for real. Like, she really just be warming up my spot. Because if I wanted Devon back, he would come back to me. Like, but he blocked you on everything, though, sis. Like, okay, but my vibe is rare. Like, I'm not like these other girls. Like, he know that, too. He told me. I don't think I will find genuine love. So I just came back from seeing the Barbie movie for the second time. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it really made me start to think about everything that I've been going through and like everything that I said. And like, I had a reality check. Like, why would I ever let a past relationship or past trauma affect how I'm a lover girl, affect how I am in the future to somebody else? Because I know in my heart that I should still be the same person no matter what I went through. Just because I went through something bad does not mean I am not worthy of those things because I know I'm 100% am. I have accomplished so much within a year and I'm amazed because I wasn't even able to afford things that I wanted to as a kid. And the more I boss up and make money, I know that the right person is going to come along for me. And I was having a talk with my mom after the Barbie movie and I kind of realized the next man that comes into my life, he is going to be patient with me. He is going to be emotionally available. He is going to be intelligent. He's going to teach me things without making me feel like I'm dumb. He's going to validate me. He's going to be everything that I've been searching for. And I know I'm not going to have to look. We shall see. All no. right, you guys know the drill. Please have a seat. Oh, Thank you. Your All right, Kior. Here. Yo, Pressure. Your charger? My phone's on like 20%. Pressure. Oh, my Who's bad. Speaking my right bad. now? Yo, that's you. That's you. Thank I'm here. You. Chrome. Here. Chosen one. Here. Yo, Shut I was up. trying to get like, like Okay, like, motion and retrograde. I'm hearing too much talking gosh. right now. I was asking yep. you for a retrograde. Pen. Switch seats with Miley. Oh Miley, my thank gosh. you. Move your foot, motion. No. Fendi Dream. Here. My Dream. Here. Jador. Present. Zell. Here. Okay, retrograde. I saw you. Yeah, what Success. Yeah. Capri. Here. Cancun. Ooh, Cancun. Ooh, Cancun. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait. No, nope, hand no, it over. What? I'm nope, looking no, something No, no, you can get this back after class. Oh, my God. Motion. Physically in attendance. Elevate. Here. Riz. You know I'm always here, teacher. Atlas. Here. Galaxy. Ooh. Galaxy? Oh, Galaxy's out. I think he has like a doctor's appointment. Galaxy sick? Yeah, he wasn't right, in Spanish this down. morning. All right, true legend. Here. Miley, I just saw you. Yep. Oh, y'all saw this? I was trying to get like, like two. Oh, like, oh, wait. wait. <clears throat> Luna Mars. Here. Armani. Here. Miami Amiri. Here. Boss. Oh, my fault. I'm, I'm back here. I'm back here. Oh, there you go, boss. Eris. Here. Empress. Here. Zen. Here. Shine. Here. Seven. Here. Kehlani Milan. Here. Winter Salem. Here. Also, can I run out and go to the bathroom really quick? Like, can I take the bathroom pass? Okay, okay. Thank you. All right. And Maverick. Here. There we go. All right, we are going over chapter three of Mice and Men. Please take your books out, please. Hi, welcome to Panera Bread. Hi, can I have a turkey chili bowl soup and a bread bowl? Uh, yeah, we out of bread, sir. You just opened nine minutes ago and there's bread in the background. And I said we out of bread. How? Ew, is that a bag of vomit? Oh. No, girl, this is literally your mac and cheese. Oh. Elizabeth. That's me. Elizabeth. Right here. Elizabeth, can you give me my food? Yeah, I'm going on lunch. Girl, what? Hi, welcome to Panera Bread. Can I just buy one bottle of water, please? Okay, so your total is going to be $964.62. Would you like to pay with cash or card? Okay, so you said you want a bowl of tomato soup and a half turkey avocado BLT? Yep, that's all. Would you like a side of bread with that? Yes, please. 
Okay, would you like a side of bread with the side of bread? Um, sure, yeah. Okay, and it looks like you have another free reward. Would you like another side of bread with a side of bread with a side of bread? Yes, and I'll take another side of bread as well. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh, Brittany, Brittany is literally my favorite TikToker. Oh my gosh, I love her too, but don't you think she's getting a little bit too successful and famous now that we've been hyping her up and she's getting all these brand deals now? <gasps> Do you want to stalk her Twitter account and look up her tweets from 14 years ago to start her downfall and get her canceled and make sure that she has a horrible life because she's successful? <gasps> yes! Okay, let's do it. Make sure you search up problematic words. <gasps> oh my gosh, she was dating a 20 year old in 2011. How old was she at the time? She was 20 and three quarters. That's too old. <gasps> Ew, what a terrible human being. <gasps> and look, she was also eating pizza with a fork. Could she be any more tone deaf? She deserves to be canceled. Let's share it with the public and start her downfall. Oh my gosh, no, don't release this problematic information just yet. You're right, let's sit on this extremely critical information for at least five years and then wait until she becomes successful to release this information about her. Bestie, you are so real, you be having me gagged. Listen up, everybody needs to take their laptops out, shoes off, jackets off. Sir, move the tray down! Hi, excuse me. I'm not sure which lane I go into. Do you have TSA pre-check or are you broke? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just pull up. Let me see your boarding pass. Here you go. Yep, you broke. <laughs> this way. Excuse me, ma'am. We got to keep it moving. What's taking so long? I'm so sorry. I'm having trouble lifting this carry-on onto the conveyor belt. It's so heavy. Not a problem. Thank you so much. I really hope. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna step over here? Sir, you better not give me no attitude because I'm not the one going to Cancun. You is. Okay, come forward and put your arms over your head, please. I can step forward? Yes, today. Okay, step forward. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hi, miss. How uh, are you doing uh, sir, did I say you could go? No, I thought Exactly, it was... so step back. Excuse me, miss. That perfume is 10 ounces. Oh, I forgot. It's vintage. Can I just please? No, please? no, oh. no. Thank no, thank you. Ma'am, ice cream is not allowed in TSA. Please oh. hand it over. Thank Fine. you. Mm. I'm going on break, y'all. <phone rings> Sweetie, you have something in your mouth? Oh, yeah. I have braces on, so. Okay, can you take your braces off, please? Miss, but I literally can't do that. They're braces, though. Well, I guess you ain't flying, kid. What? You guys, I asked you guys online to tell me what I should try next, and... Oreos! <laughs> Don't come for me, but I've never had Oreos before. <laughs> I'm so scared, but I'm gonna try these for the very first time with you. And before I try these, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your post notifications on to see all my video updates. Oh my gosh, the packaging! <laughs> okay, we're gonna open this up in three to wait but before i open them make sure you're following all of my socials to get the latest updates okay okay three two oh by the way if you want this headband it's on my tiktok shop just click the link okay 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 all right three two one ah! whoa look at this cookie you guys you guys i'm so scared of this cookie Why does it smell like this? Woo, okay. We're gonna try this together, okay? You want the first bite? Okay, now it's my turn. Three, two, one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Wow. Wow, that was such a good cookie. Like, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see what I'm gonna try next. You guys, I feel like a whale. Girl, Girl, shut up. Shut you up. are so skinny. So Bella Hadid, who? So skinny Girl, queen, snatched, yes. Like... Oh my gosh. You guys, I did so bad on my test. Oh no, girl, what'd you get? I got a 98. Girl, girl are you kidding me? You did way better than me. I got a 67. Yeah, I got a three. Girl, you mad No, smart. but like, I usually get a hundred. Like, we I didn't know. get mad. Like, this test was really Girl. hard. You guys, my hair looks so bad. Sanaya, shut up. Your edges look so fresh. Did you just get them done? I love your hair. Your hair looks so good. Fresh. Your braids never be giving crunchy, girl. 
Anaya, you're so pretty. Thank you, boo. I wish I had fake eyelashes, wigs, and a BBL like you. Okay, like, hold on I now. look like a bomb with my natural beauty. Okay. Wait, who's up next for karaoke? You guys, I don't want to sing. I'm so scared to do karaoke. Oh, oh nice. really? Oh. Up. You're such a good singer. Like, come on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, out of this world. Girl, Mariah Carey, so who? Good. You're, You're so good at talent wow. right now. Yes. You guys, I look so ugly today. Y'all hear something? Because I don't. <clears throat> I look so ugly today. You said that already. Yeah, girl, I agree. You do be looking a little funny. You look crazy. Yes, yeah, sis, you look crazy. You're not gonna Want lie. attention? Stop yeah, shut not up. You're feeding for a compliment so bad. You big back, silver back. Like, Your hair is mad. Yeah, shut up. Like, okay. okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday to you. You right there. Happy birthday, dear Sequoia. Jay, that's what I'm doing. Um, hello? Are you wasting my food? Because I know you're not wasting my food that I just spent my hard earned money on. No, I was trying to make something I saw on TV. With my groceries that I just bought? What's in there? What is that? Speak up, child. Mustard, chocolate syrup, pickles, cottage cheese, sprinkles, cookies, marinara sauce. That sounds absolutely delicious. Now go ahead and eat it for me, baby. What? You heard exactly what I said. Now you made it, now you better eat it. Go on, bon appetit. But, but, but I don't want to eat it. Oh, you definitely gonna eat it all right. And you're not gonna leave this kitchen until you do. Oh, you got an issue now? Since you wanted to be creative and now you don't want to eat it? I don't want to. No, now you have to. Now you gonna eat it all while I'm standing here. And I'm not gonna leave until you take a bite. Eat it. Yeah, eat it. You out here wasting my mustard when there's other children out there that are begging to have some mustard. Mommy, I don't want to eat it. I bet you not gonna be Chef Boy RD again. I bet you not. I bet you not. You guys, I have devastating news. What happened? Is everything okay? I'm leaving. <clears throat> you guys, there's bagels in the break room, y'all. Aisha. Oh, gosh. You know you're one of my favorites, right? You literally told on me for coming in late. I would like for you to have this tape since I won't be needing it anymore. What? Mondays. Am I right? But this is my last Monday. <laughs> Who's gonna miss me? <clears throat> Lashana, I am going to miss you the most. My name is Lauren and we never work together. Hey Tyler, now that we're no longer coworkers, you should unblock me from social media now. I think I'm good. When's the due date on that? Client wants it by March 9th. <gasps> no, but I'm leaving March 8th. And then he told me the assignment was due on the 9th, but I was leaving March 8th. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so lucky. You guys, I'm giving away free pens because I won't be needing them anymore since I'm leaving. Who wants my pens? We should totally hang out and keep in touch. Yeah, we should. I'm definitely down. When do you want to hang out? Sometime this decade. I'm literally so bored. You could help us on a project you'd started. But I'm leaving. Aww. So when is the secret party that you guys are having? Oh, it's going to be on March 9th. But I'm leaving on the 8th. Well, yeah, exactly. Melanie, do you like that Applebee's gift card that I got you? Yeah, thank you so much. But I noticed it was used already. They called me and told me over the phone. Uh, hello? I love you. Yeah, me too. Imagine if I cheated right now and messed everything up. Did you check the weather today? I don't know. Yeah, it's cloudy with a chance of cheating. I'm, uh, um, oh, I feel a sneeze coming in. I cheat on oh, my chest. Oh, no, are you having a heart attack? No, I'm just feeling the urge to cheat. Listen, I'm not going to make promises, but there's a huge chance that I might cheat. Okay, what are the chances that you think that might happen, though? About, like, 99%. Okay. Babe, why are you staring at me like that? You're so beautiful. I really hope I don't cheat on you, for real. Clay, fight it! Ugh, fight the urge I'm cheat. trying! Fight Ugh. it! I'm not trying to, like, start nothing, but, like, what would you do if I cheated? Listen, I just want to warn you that I might cheat on you because my dad cheated, so, you know, it might be it might be a little rough. Could you let me know in advance, like, when you might cheat? Um, well... The feeling kind of like comes and goes. Right. Sometimes on Saturdays I get the urge to cheat because mm -hmm. like that's like my biggest day. Right. Um, Wednesdays is a little iffy. Okay, um, I'll write down Wednesday. But you know, today's Sunday, so we should be good. Okay, so like let's pretend that I cheated, right? Um, would you still be like my lifelong fiance? Okay, right now it's just me and you. But if I add a third party. Look at that girl's hair. Whoa. Hey boo, I really love your hair. It looks so pretty. That was Thank my line. Thank you. 
I can't believe that's your real hair. It looks so long and beautiful. That's definitely hair goals, boo. Yeah, girl, your hair's so pretty. Actually, it's not my real hair. No way. It's a wig. <gasps> what? No way. Get out of town. I'm not going anywhere. That's crazy, boo. It really looks like your real hair. It looks so nice. You gotta be playing. It's a wig. I promise you. Look. <gasps> no way. Wow. Whoa. And it's glueless, too? That's crazy. Thank you. Girl, it's your line. Oh, uh, I know girlies don't get heat. Where did you get the wig? Well, I got it from Sugar Booger Hair. They're having a really big sale right now. No way. That is so crazy. Wait, what are my lines again? I have to go now. You should. Are you sure that's not your real hair? I still can't believe it. Wow, that's crazy. No. Girl, why did you ghost that man? I thought it was good. Because he started crying in the middle of the movie. Like, who does that? See, Ara, you acting like people don't cry during sad movies all the time. Like... During Mean Girls the musical? Nah, that's childish to me. Because as a man, why are you eating cashews? Right. Tell me how I went to go use his bathroom and the fan came on with the light. Like, I hate right? It. Like, that's too much for me. Like, that's too... Girl, why would you block him, though? Because he got a Roku TV. I can't date no man that's broke. Anaya, you acting like you don't got a fire stick yourself. Like, <laughs> I get it. Though, exactly. But... Like, when I saw them purple buildings, I was enraged girl right asia you can't expect a man to know everything girl i asked that man what the three branches of government were he said alvin simon and theodore what the chipmunks how you work on wall street but got brown cabinets like somebody lying ew wait so like what's your nationality i'm jamaican haitian dominican nigerian y'all right, well, yeah, know this is about to be a serious video when you see the led lights and no title so everybody at this point knows what happened with the ban. Unfortunately, instead of worrying about human rights that we all keep asking for, this country is more so worried about a belly dancing app. Imagine having to rock your hips on Instagram. And before y'all be like, oh, they're not gonna ban it, they're not gonna ban it, calm down, you doing too much. I know I joke about, but we gotta be so for real, like, come on now. So I will be moving a lot of my videos to IG and YouTube shorts up here. So I'm just letting y'all know if you still want to see my videos, just follow me on the gram because I'm going to start transitioning onto there. So if you slowly see that I'm posting a little bit less on TikTok more than usual, then that's why. If you still want to keep up with me, then go to my Instagram. My Instagram is also personal, so you'll be seeing my little selfies or whatever, or just me talking on my story. Like, if you really want to, like, keep up with me, not only will I be posting my skits, you guys are just going to see my regular... I'm not going to lie, I ate that. I really ate that up. I ate that up! Don't play with me! Y'all are like, oh, we still got five months. We still got five months. Oh, why are you worried about that? Okay, and then what's going to happen when it's five months? Y'all are going to be cooked and scrambled. And before y'all be like, oh, they're going to sell it. They're going to sell it. They're going to sell it. Imagine working so hard on something that one person forces you to give everything that you have to them just because. Even for some slim chance that this doesn't get passed, still follow me because, you know, I want to be more active on IG. A lot of y'all going to say, yeah, that's not worth it. So let's be realistic. But yeah, guys, that's all I had to say. So go follow me on the... This is so unserious. But y'all be DMing me and asking me like in some of my videos and like it's literally on my profile y'all like I don't have a different no reason and let me know like what more th let me know what more things you want to see on there in the comments though okay Zaire how do you spell BMW um B-E-Y how do we solve for X chosen you're gonna take the square root of Kiat minus Riz and then you're gonna multiply by a Miss Taylor I need help sure what question are you <laughs> I know you did not just blow blue raspberry shoelace in my face. Hand no, it over. No, no. Amiri, can you read the sentence on the board, please? The 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 dog. Uh, I don't even know what that means for real. Like, what does that even say? Amiri, you're a 22 year old senior. Something has to give. Okay, Bella, can you tell us what your project is about? My presentation is on the history of the modern day civil war. Amazing choice. <clears throat> for seven years, the Barb's and Barty gang have sit down. One, Stop. two, three. I'm talking about me. Stop. Okay. Stop. Not even true. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, I'm not trying to say 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 I'm not Smiley, like, come on now. You know the sky has no color. Like, the sky is clearly green. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you're a liar. Why you always? You always gotta lie. Like, you never tell the truth. Like, where have you been? Really? Really? That's how it is. That's really how it is. You really finna ghost me like that, right? So you just gonna leave me out to dry? Don't make me angry. Don't make me angry like you already did. That's why you be struggling every lesson. Every time I ask you to spell Manzana, you can't even do something as simple as that. Where you been at, huh? Huh? You know what's crazy? I think it's real funny that you could commit to a guy that be cheating on you, but you can't commit to us. What did I do to you? What did I do to you? Huh? Huh? 
actually, you know what? It's 2024, new year, new me. You know, I'm, I apologize for getting mad at you earlier, boo. I just haven't heard from you. It's 24 hours. Is everything okay? Are you okay? We miss you. We love you. Por favor. Nah, I'm lying. You better come down your ass by yo or else. I'm not playing with you because it's going to be a real problem real quick. I better see you in 2024 or you finna be as tostada, tostada, as stupida. I don't care. Hi, girls. Welcome to Sephora. Can Lady, I get you got drunk elephant or not? Oh, it, it's over there. Oh my gosh, Izzy, I see it. <laughs> Hi, my friend and I are looking for the rare beauty blushes. Oh, the rare beauty blushes are gonna you be You're a there. liar. I checked already and it wasn't even there. You're not even doing your job properly, lady. Is there like a specific shade that you're looking for? Show her the picture. Show the lady the Let picture. Let me find it. No, let's go over there and show her. Over here. My friend's gonna take you and show you. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so we ran out of the shade in Courage, but we do have Lucky, which works just as That's what I asked for! I literally wanted it in a specific shade. I wanted in Courage, and you bring me the wrong shade that I did not ask for. My dad, who is the president of Timu, will not be happy about this, and you'll be out of a job. Excuse me, do you guys sell the Ordinary here? No, honey, but I can suggest Wishful Skin. Ah! You're so useless! Excuse me, which retinol product do you recommend? Aren't you like nine? FYI, I'm actually turning 10 tomorrow. So basically, where's your mother? Okay, sweetie, your total is going to be $10,364.62. Is your mom or dad going to pay? Oh, no, I just took it out of my life savings. So technically, it's my money that I'm going to be uh, Sweetie, I don't think Are that's you dumb. I said it was my money, you potato with lashes. What? Now, La Joshua, would you like to read your vows to your wife? Oh, I ain't write nothing. My bad. You know what? You know what? I'm going to just, just speak it from the heart. All right, here it goes. Man, Shauna, we finally made it. We finally Ooh. doing this for real, man. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. First off, let me start by saying this, Shauna. I know what you thinking, man. It's about dang time. time. Yes, finally, y'all, man. I know, y'all. I know. I, I should have been did this. You Whoa. think? 21 years of a situationship and nine years of being engaged. Man, we really doing it, man. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I'd rather be standing up here with another woman, but I settled for you. And I'm grateful for that. But in all seriousness, Shauna, I just love how committed you are to not loving yourself. Mm. And how you constantly have low self-esteem. I promise to always disrespect you. Yes. Make you my doormat. And cheat on you with another woman to make you raise her child. Because I know you will never leave. Never. Mm -hmm. Never. 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 Never leave. And the fact that none of your family members are here today just shows that you a committed, down woman. Mm. The fact that you're just so easy to manipulate and... I'm getting emotional, man. La Joshua, take your time, baby. Take Ooh. your time. The fact that you agreed to not get a prenup even though you make 100K a year and I don't have a job, you are selfless. <sighs> all right, that's, all, that's enough because um, that's all, really all I got to say. I now pronounce y'all... Husband and doormat, you may kiss your bride. All right, girl. Yo, I always get mistaken for being a newborn baby all the time. They really think I'm a baby. Like, people be telling me all the time that I look 19. Yeah, in dog years. See, I'm 48 and I literally look 18. But wasn't Booker T. Washington your prom date, though? How old do you think I look? I mean, you look at least 52. You meant to switch it around, right? 25, mm -hmm. right? Not 50, yeah. Nope. Yo, y'all want to see my high school yearbook? Didn't you graduate the same year as Betty White, though? Like, I could have sworn No, that. she was a grade above me. I'm way younger than her. I'm telling y'all, 95 is the new 25. Excuse me, ladies. Are you guys in line for the bathroom? We're or? not sisters. We are not sisters. I'm literally her mom. I know we look like sisters. I don't know. Y'all don't know nothing about Teach Me How to Duck. Huh? No, Ew. I don't want to listen to that senior citizen music. What? Like are you always this difficult? Only for you. Hello? Hi, welcome to the Boyfriend Store Customer Services. Can I help you? Yeah, I would like to make a return. Okay, what are you returning? I'm returning my boyfriend. What's wrong with him? Well, I'm bored and I want a new boyfriend for Valentine's Day. I don't think this one's for me. Not for you? Well, he's too nonchalant, he doesn't let me become a passenger princess, and he chews too loud. Ma'am, I'm sorry, you can't return him. All sales are final, even if you're not satisfied. What? But I'm not satisfied. He chews too loud and cries at reality TV shows. I'm not satisfied. I need my emotional time and money back. Ma'am, this isn't like returning your car at CarMax. We can't just give you your money back for it. What? Within 30 days, up to 1,500 miles, even if you're not in love. <sighs> Fine. I'm going somewhere else. Okay, we'll have a good... Oh, and by the way, you guys can learn a thing or two from CarMax. It's way better. And they wear those fresh polos. <laughs> Oh, 
up to 1500 miles within 30 days, huh? So I'm seeing that trend on TikTok where people are talking about some, oh, I'm convinced nobody has ever seen this show. But y'all be naming the most basic shows that everybody has seen. Y'all be like, oh, I bet you guys haven't seen Totally Spies. <laughs> Get out of here. I haven't seen one person talk about this show. This show used to give me nightmares. Y'all not touching Ubi. Y'all kidding me. Like, I remember my, I was so scared. I was not allowed to watch this. My grandma thought it was weird. <laughs> and she would not let me watch it. <laughs> Y'all not touching Ubi, like. Baby, make sure you wearing your shin guards okay, this time. All right, oh, love you. Good luck. Oh my life. gosh. I know that ain't who I think it is. Oh gosh. Brenda? Hi, Sharon. Hi. Mwah. Mwah. I can't believe this. I was like, is that Brenda who used to eat her lunch in the school bathroom? And I was like, is that Sharon? In the flesh. AKA Mrs. I like to hang out with guys because it's less drama. Oh. How are you? I'm doing great. I saw that your car got repossessed last April. That's a big yikes. And I saw that you're on your third divorce on Facebook. Well, collecting those infinity stones, I see. Still have terrible credit and facing eviction, I see. But anyways, how are the boys? Very good. My oldest is going to college, so. That ran down community college right up the street? No, Harvard. Oh, wow, Harvard. I guess they're letting anybody in. Clearly, they're not letting everybody in there because your son has taken a gap year for 47 years now and he's still not in school. Oh, uh, you gag me there. <laughs> Well, anyways, enjoy the game, Brenda. You too, Sharon. Bye. Desperate. Non-existent neck. Hi, my beautiful, delicious baddies. I have been getting so many requests to do a what's in my bag video and we're doing it today. <laughs> I am so sorry for the goofiness. I am just so excited. Oh my goodness, please do not judge me. These are my literal holy grail items. First thing is obviously gonna be my wallet. Let's see how much I have in here. Nothing. Next is my lotion because I always need to stay moisturized. Next is obviously gonna be my onion in case I get hungry. Like who doesn't have an onion in their purse? Next up is mustard. I mean, duh, if Beyonce keeps hot sauce in her bag, I'm keeping my mustard in my bag. Next is my water bottle. I have to stay hydrated. Next is obviously my wig. You never know when you're gonna have a bad hair day, ladies. Okay, this next one is a little bit heavy. Ugh. Next, I have my vacuum. You never know when you're gonna make a mess. I mean, who doesn't have a vacuum in their purse? Next is my 10 foot ring light. I mean, what kind of influencer would I be if I didn't have a 10 foot ring light in my purse? Next is my office chair in case I- Okay, and finally, this is the weirdest thing I have in my purse. Don't judge me, okay? But a hair tie. I know I'm so weird. Like who carries a hair tie? Like, oh my. Comment down below for what more videos you wanna see from me next. Bye. Okay, step Ugh. forward a little bit and close your eyes. Shauna, you gotta make this quick. I gotta go to work. Open them. What in the, what? Is this for somebody else or, uh? Okay, I brought you here. Yeah, why? Because I want to ask you something. You couldn't do this over iMessage? You know, we've been dating for 10 years. Yeah, so why ruin what we got going and, on? And, you know, we've been through a lot. And you're like the man of my dreams. And I know you said that good things come to those that wait. Mm -hmm, yes. And I feel like this is the perfect opportunity. Is this a skit? Um, like. <laughs> um, okay. La Frederick. We've been together for so long. I mean, yeah, that's what a situation ship is. Yes, you did cheat on me and you had seven kids on me, but I'm willing to raise those kids as my own. You already and do. I'm willing to give you all of my paychecks. You do that too. And I'm willing to be your doormat for the rest of our lives. You already are. The Frederick. Don't do it. Don't don't Will lean you down. Marry Wait, me? please don't tell me. No, no. Oh gosh. Uh can I get back to you on that? Because um I'm just trying to I'm waiting on to hear back from somebody else. Um yeah, but if she said no, um, then I'm a, then I'm gonna say yes. We could take a little rain check on that. Um, you can get up now. You know, if you if you want to let me know, how long is that gonna take? I'm gonna let you know in like five years. I promise. Five years is the max. I'm gonna let you know. Um, I'm gonna give you an yes, update by it, then. It's worth the wait. It, it's you worth so the understanding wait. for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, babe. Yes. I love you, babe. That's why yes. I love you. That's um, why I love you, babe. Okay, guys, we are not going to. Oh, I'm nervous, girl. Uh, uh oh, please don't. The Bronx. No, Whoa! man, that was the one I picked. I really wanted to go there. That was a good one. Okay, we are not going to. Nebraska. What? Are you kidding hey, me? We missed out on Nebraska. Dang. Come on. Okay, we are not going to. Come on, y'all. Come on. Jamaica. I mean, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, easy. I yeah, 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 I don't. Yeah, that must have been a throwaway. Jamaica Queens, y'all. No! no! Are you for real? I'm not going anywhere no more. I'm sick of this. Come day. on, y'all. We got bad luck. Okay, we are not going to. I don't want to look. 
Antarctica. Are you Kennedy, serious, that was though? Mine. Oh. That was a good one. Come on. Okay, y'all. We are not going to Potato Heights. What? Oh, okay, what? Okay, what? Okay, what? On the good places, y'all. I don't want to go nowhere. Want to go no, more. I need to step out. I need to step out. Oh, I need to step outside. Out. Okay, we are not going to Iguana Farms. Oh, I'm about Yo, to this lose. Game is rigged. Are you kidding me? I really wanted to go there. Right. Right. No, I'm getting mad now. All right, y'all. This is the last one. We are going to. Oh, this one's mine, y'all. What'd you put? Paris. Taylor. What? Paris. Why would you Paris? put that? I'm sorry. I can't really? come up with anything. So I you really? I literally one. picked something better. Oh like, my god. No, no, we, 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 we we're not going this. there. We're gonna like, redo it. On, Everybody right. got a pen and paper. Hi, Hi, welcome to Costco. Thank you. Have a good one. Hi. Hello. Thank you. you. Go. Good morning, miss. Can I see? Thank you. <clears throat> good morning, miss. How are you? I'm just going straight to the cash. Membership? Yes, but I'm only just going to the food. Membership? Miss, I know that. But Membership? I, I left it in my car. I'm just trying Membership? to. Membership? Miss, I'm only going to get the- Ma'am, if you don't have a membership- I know that, miss, but I'm only here to go straight to the- Give me your membership! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Please! Miss, I'm just going to the cafeteria to get a slice of pizza! Not me getting jumped again? <coughs> oh, my bad, friend. My bad. You know, you, you should have said that earlier. I was you know, trying to- Go inside. How? My leg is- Have a great experience. Hi, welcome to Costco. All yes, right, who can tell me what five minus That's two true. is? Ooh, ooh, I know. Michaela. Three. Wrong. What? Oh, I know. <laughs> I, know. I, know. I, know. I got it. I got answer. it. Okay, so five minus two is if you take the square root of cheese and pretzels and put five physical apples on the table and then place them in a position right next to each other and physically remove two apples and discard two of them in the trash can. Then you hand deliver the apples to Jamaica Queens and then they put them in the garbage chute, leaving those two apples into a disintegration of nothingness. Then if you take the square root of Nicki Minaj and multiply it by ice spice, you get gra three times. And leaving that as a remainder. Once you confirm those two apples have disappeared, then that means you have three physical apples that are left on the table. So the answer is three. Correct. That's what I'm looking for. What? That's what I just said. I said five minus two is three. That literally makes no sense. You didn't sense show your work. That's what? why it's wrong. You, you didn't show your that work. Up no oh, there he is. Where is he? Is that him? Yep, right there. What's up, Daddy! woman? How you doing? Hi, Amiri. Hi. You must be the famous Amiri your daddy was telling me about. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hi, you must be Kayla, right? I'm Amiri's mother, Shanice. Yeah, I am. Well, it's so nice to meet you. Devon didn't tell me he was bringing somebody to the party, but that's all right. Thank you for bringing a gift as well. Yeah, well, I'm the stepmother now, so stepmother. it's really important that I need to be at these events because I'm clearly in the picture now, so yeah. I mean, this is me and my son's first time meeting you, so... Yeah, well, honestly, it's about time that we met considering all the things that I've heard about you. Oh, really? What did you hear about me? Come on, baby. She not worth it. This is not the time and the place to do this. Not because I don't no, know. No, because I'm tired of letting her walk all over you. You <laughs> need to stand up for yourself. So I'm gonna stand up for my man. Devon, really? You're literally a terrible person and you <laughs> don't even let Devon see his son. Excuse me? Oh Baby girl, you have no idea what's been going on. So please stop. Devon is a very hardworking and dedicated you man so who is delusional. a good father. What? And the fact that you're taking that away from him is I so can't, heartless I can't. and so insensitive. Okay. You're just mad because of the fact that he moved on and what? you didn't. And he's happy where First he is. First of all, Devon is more than welcome to see his son anytime that he wants to. He has not called or asked to come visit. So I'm not keeping him away and respectfully i think you need to mind your business it is my business no, because i'm not. in the picture now this is between me and devon well devon and i have been dating for three days oh, and he please. told me that he would never do me like how he, he did said that to so everybody. that's why you're mad Who's that's mad? literally why you're Who's mad baby let's go she's not worth it you are definitely no, not worth it because you don't understand not baby how horrible don't even you are give her no to devon attention. and you're hurting really, devon? your whole family that's not a court date that's not don't even entertain her she's not even worth it that's not right Okay, put a finger down if you ever took money out of an old lady's purse. Dang. Oh, that was too easy. Girl, you know I everybody do that. That's normal. Okay, put a finger down if you've ever been to prison. Really? You trying to get all of us oh, out. What? Who hasn't been right. to prison? Like, Okay, put a finger down if you've ever taken candy from a baby or been involved in a high-speed chase. Are you oh, kidding me? Now, we need to restart like, this game. Fair. Put a finger down if you never put the tray table up when the plane is landing. Oh, that's really? not. No, that's really I not. Do I can't associate with something like that. Like like that. Something are you serious? Messed up. What you mean you don't? I'm definitely looking at you differently, girl. Nah, you got bad energy. No, like I, I don't feel safe right now. Like, you're not the friend that we do thought us? you were. No, for real. Nah, like, switch like, seats with me because I don't want to sit yeah, next to her. Uh -uh. I don't feel I'm safe. I'm not sitting next to her. I really think you should go because we really don't want that energy. I'm shaking right now. Like what? Hi, welcome to Raising Cane. Whoa, 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 Khadijah. Now is that how we greet our lovely customers? You seriously about to make me sick? Yes. Or you're fired. 
Bok, bok, bok. It's chicken o'clock. What can I get you? Chicken, chicken. Which combo you picking? Go ahead. <laughs> I'll take the clucking sandwich combo. Welcome to Raising Cane's. If the chicken ain't kicking, then girl, you must be tripping. What can I get you? Let me get a five-piece combo. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I just asked you for chicken. Like, okay, well, you should have said that. Okay, well, you should have said that. You gotta be trying to be with me. Hi, can I get a box combo with no coleslaw, please? No, because you decided to wear Ugg boots today. Let me get a box me? combo with extra coleslaw. Extra! Welcome to Cane's. If the chicken ain't clucking, then knuck if you bucking. Go ahead. Um, can I get a box combo with no sauce, please? Just the chicken only? Sir, I think you need the sauce. No, I really don't want the sauce. I, I, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't need you it. You do need the sauce. Why do you, I need the really sauce? You really do need the sauce. You can't eat it without it. Yo, Rasputia, where's my combo at? I've been waiting here mad long. Well, I'm gonna give you that combo, all right? Where? I just don't understand how the girlies that are born in the year 2000 are 24 years old, but I was born in 1865 and I'm also 24 years old. Right. Like, that don't make no sense. Bro, I literally still look like my ultrasound picture. I mean, not really though, but like- No, for real, like I'm really giving zygote. Girl, do I look young? Uh, what do you mean by young though? Like unborn child young? Apparently a newborn baby went missing from the hospital. Like, wah, wah, I'm right here. Girl, Rosa Parks just wrote me a letter asking me what I'm wearing tonight. Girl, I'm not going out to the gathering. I literally look so young. I haven't even washed my face yet, girl. Yeah, I can tell, girl. See, that's why I still look younger than you because I drink from the fountain of youth. Well, the fountain must be contaminated. I'm literally 22. Okay, so why is there a picture of you in my textbook standing next to MLK marching the summer protest, though? Like, isn't that true? That's literally AI. Like, that's not even me. Like, I would You're never- You're literally wearing the same shirt in the photo, though. Okay, well, I would never- I asked Harriet Tubman what time we were gonna get up and leave. And she was like, oh, when I feel like it. Girl, if you don't want me to go with y'all, just say that. Hi, my beautiful angel. I'm so glad the universe brought us together and thank you for booking with me again. Now let's see what the universe got in store for you today, baby. Okay, let me just shuffle my cards and pull up your questions. <clears throat> okay, so your first question is, even though you said no 26 times, is Levante still coming back? No! No, he's not! I'm sick of you asking me this question every single time that you come here. He's not coming back! Get over it. Love yourself. You telling me you could have been sitting with a Prince Charming, but you sitting here crying over a bum that don't wash his sheets, let alone his behind. Oh, look. Look at the time right now. It's 1.11 p.m. on the dot. That means your intuition is telling you that he is a bum and you need to leave him. I don't know how many times I got to tell you that your Delulu will never become true Lulu. That man cheated on you, wiped out your bank account, and turned you against your family. And you still want him back? Spirit, you better calm me down. You better calm me down. You better get me back on my level, Spirit. What you need to be doing is manifesting a job because you clearly making me rich. You really keeping me in business, baby girl. Because you blocking your blessings over a man that be calling himself booger. You need to learn to find that true love within yourself before you come looking for a man. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Next question. Is Levante my soulmate? No! No, he is okay. not my soulmate! Dang! Girl, I was deleting my drafts on TikTok, and then I forgot to tell y'all that I ended up going to TikTok headquarters literally two months ago. Why did I forget to tell y'all that? Ah! I done sold all my other socials, but I didn't even tell TikTok. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This was like two months ago, right? Because clearly I had a wig and I had like my brows or whatever, but TikTok invited me to their New York office. I'm so mad I didn't tell y'all. Like, what the? But this was for like a one minute creator event where they kind of come up with new features and introduce it to us. I'm sure they're out right now. I was so nervous. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you because I'm just not that type of social in real life. But when I tell you that everybody was so nice, I got to meet so many different people. I got to make a lot of new connections. We ended up learning some tips and tricks from TikTok. So that was really nice. And we got to speak to some um, really big creators who came to like give us advice and stuff like that. And, you know, their journey on TikTok. And then after that, we went to like a little happy hour and I got to socialize with a lot of different people. I was so nervous. Like I have really bad social anxiety, so that's why I don't really like to go to a lot of events. Fun fact. But talking to a lot of creators just really made me feel super comfortable. Oh, they have this little ice cream station where you could catch the ice cream. Oh, yeah. What is what is that? I don't know how much I filmed. Oh, wait. This is what me and my homegirl ended up getting nachos right after because we was mad hungry. So, yeah, the nachos was good. Also, do not bring guacamole to go. It's going to be nasty. Dang, that's it. But thank you guys so much for even allowing me to get to TikTok HQ. Like, I wouldn't have done it without y'all. Like, what? Hi, can I please get a name? Yes, my name Hi, is... Hi, I'm here for DoorDash. Hello? For DoorDash. Olivia J, DoorDash. I'm sorry, miss. Can you DoorDash. please repeat that? What were you trying to say? My DoorDash. name is... DoorDash. Sir. DoorDash. Sir, excuse I'm me. For DoorDash. Excuse me. I got Olivia Sir. J with her food at. Like, can y'all give Sir, me her food? Sir, listen. Her food at. We just got the order two minutes ago, so you're going to have to sit over there and ah! wait.
Okay, miss, what's your order? Um, okay, so can I have a 10? Shorty, I'm at the restaurant doing a DoorDash order. What does it look like I'm doing? Why do you think I'm cheating all the time? I'm not cheating. You the one that put me on child support. These diapers ain't gonna buy itself, shorty, like. Shut up, shut up, shut Hello, up. Hello, sir. Shut up. Like, Hello. you talking too much. Shut up. Can you please keep it down, oh, sir? Oh my gosh. Okay, so can I get mango habanero? Nobody with... knows me like you do. Sir, I just want to be nice. Please keep it down. Please keep it down because I'm trying to do uh, my, my job. My bad, my bad. I'm going to keep it down. I promise. DoorDash, your food is ready. Yeah, I don't care anything. Okay, so Oh my goodness, besties, I have partnered with Norwegian Cruise Line, so get ready with me to go on a cruise that leaves the dock in nine minutes. Since I only have nine minutes to pack my clothes, drive to the pier, and check in, the most logical thing for me to do at this very moment is my makeup. Norwegian Cruise Line has launched their Month of Tomorrow's campaign, which is a month-long contest where challenges are posted each week for the audience to compete on social media. And at the end of the contest, they will select three winners to win a cruise package. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this cruise, especially since my dad took my yacht away. Like, see, I too am relatable. But anyways, I'm so stoked because this is basically like a bigger yacht with like 4,000 people. I cannot wait to eat out on the deck, karaoke, unlimited ice cream cones, theme days, and of course, shamelessly hold the buffet line so everybody can watch me take boomerang videos of the food. This cruise is a much needed solo trip. Despite the fact that I'll be bringing my production team, my emotional support pig, my hairstylist, my makeup artist, and my publicist, like that's it. Okay, I'm almost done packing. The cruise is gonna be 72 hours, so I just wanna pack with all my light essentials. And don't worry, this 10 foot ring light is totally gonna fit in my suitcase. Okay, so I think this is everything. If you guys are interested in entering the challenge, check out Norwegian Cruise Line to enter the Influence Us Challenge, which is challenge number five. And from there, you can submit your own travel influencer video. And if you guys are interested in learning more about Norwegian Cruise Line's Month of Tomorrow's campaign, check them out for a chance to win a cruise package. Bye! <sighs> okay, I could do this. I could do this. Uh, bo -bo no. Yeah, gotta get off. <laughs> I, I I pulled the yellow the yellow string. Okay, so unfortunately, I have another list of things that I learned from being on social media in 2023, except this is within the past seven days. Okay, you are not allowed to have vacation highlights in your Instagram bio. You are not allowed to eat alone in public. You are not allowed to have LED lights in your room. You are not allowed to cry at your own wedding, especially if you are a man. You are not allowed to eat free bread at a restaurant because that is big back behavior. You are not allowed to wear an Apple Watch at a formal event. You must apply for Social Security after turning 30. Men who eat oatmeal for breakfast or drink smoothies are considered sassy. You are not allowed to have your phone on Do Not Disturb or that means that you are a narcissist who is terrible at maintaining relationships, lack communication skills, and, of course, have avoided attachment style. You are not allowed to wear macage jackets because they are childish. You are not allowed to wear a bonnet in public or on social media. You are not allowed to do your own hair because that is broke behavior. You are not allowed to say that you do not want kids because that is selfish. As a man, you are not allowed to have a skincare routine or take care of your fingernails because that is sassy. Black or brown lip liner is ghetto. You are not allowed to fly Spirit Airlines even if you were just simply trying to save money. You are not allowed to eat at Chili's. You are not allowed to shop at Ross. You are not allowed to have almond shaped nails. You are not allowed to be too loud or excited or you will be broken up with. You are not allowed to be in the gym for New Year's Day because you are taking up space. Please don't bring this into 2024.
So, Sarah, I know that you said that you had a really bit of a traumatic past and the fans really want to know how you overcame that. When I was little, I had this like huge imaginary fear of like ghosts. And every night I used to have this dream of this evil figure with like a chainsaw and like a scary mask. And he was always coming to get me. And I was so scared. Like I could not, you know, it was hard for me to like eat and sleep. And I was so scared. Like I did not know how to navigate through life. And as time went on, I started to tell myself, he's not real. He's not going to hurt you. You're safe. He is not real. And I'm just really proud of all the work that I've been doing to move past it. Wow. I am so happy that you learned to overcome that. And that has made you the woman that you are today. And today, Sarah is going to face her fears right now. What? This is just to really benefit you and bring them out. Hey, Sarah! Come out to play! mad at me for cheating on you when I told you that my grandma died. Mm. Oh, so a brother can't grieve no more? Exactly. Mm. You speaking facts. A female that has standards mm. is a dangerous woman. I've Wake been it up. saying Wake that. Why? That's so true. Let me ask you a question, shorty. How many bodies you got? Only one. Whoa! Oh, no! Slow down! Ew! Ew. Are you trying to be a what? Asking me to be your boyfriend after 17 years of a situationship is crazy, bro. You're not ready, bro. It's a time. Trust right, issues. Exactly. Mm. I got trust issues. I need a woman that has no bodies, mm. but she needs to be experienced. Mm. Yep. Mm. As a female, I get so annoyed when other girls wear makeup. Like, why are you wearing makeup? Yo, 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 yo. She one of the good ones. Yup, she is. You gotta mm -hmm. protect this girl at all costs. Right. I can't stand a female that wear makeup like cat. Exactly, like, you deceitful now. Like, come on now. I like my woman natural. Now, LaFrederick, you opening up a big can of worms, my brother. No, open no, it. let's open it. Let's open it up. up. No, open it let's up. open it. We gonna open it up. All right, let me get the question. Let me get the question. <clears throat> Should females get the same pay rate as men? Messy. You said the same? <laughs> Stop it. You guys, I went to the most expensive grocery store in LA. It's called Erewhon. Don't ask me how I waddled my way in here. I just came in here. What is cat patties? And eight bucks? Yo, everything here must be made out of moose knuckles because why is it so expensive? Courtney Kardashian, you will pay. Raw milk for 20 bucks. Milk. Then I don't know what this is, but girl, I went to the food. That's all I wanted to do. It got a little nice vibe, you know, water in a box, because I don't know why he did that. But literally, I just got those three things. 60, almost 60 bucks for all this, all that. And I didn't even finish it all. Yeah, there's me taking my little influencer bite. You know, I'm not going to lie. The steak was kind of good. It, it was good. I'm not even going to be mad at it. You know what I mean? The sushi was, as a sushi fanatic, I, mm, mm, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. People bring their dogs here, they bring their cats here, they bring their giraffes here. Like, you know, you best believe I was saving that bag because that bag cost me an arm and a leg too. This is Calabasas, by the way, so you know it's overpriced. Oh yeah, and I forgot to get the Hailey Bieber smoothie, so I went back and got it. Y'all, it was 18 bucks! 18 bucks! <gasps> you guys, I went to Erewhon today and got this new... <laughs> you guys... <got it. laughs> Can we talk about how Gorgine... <laughs> Y'all should see how many times I have to re-record my skits like that because I just can't take it seriously. All right, let me stop playing. Hold on. It's actually good for 18 bucks. I'm not even gonna lie. I wanted to be a hater so bad. I'm not gonna lie. This Hailey Bieber smoothie got... Mm. I'm definitely gonna make a skit about this because like... <laughs> this tastes like rich people bananas. I actually ended up going bad because I forgot to get the smoothie. So I had to, I got that plus the let me, let me purr thing, whatever. And then I got some bread, $63.09 for three things. <sighs> let me purr. Let me, let me, let me purr.
Bible. This is so good. <laughs> so in total, I spent $120 on six things. Calabasas? Will I come back to Erewhon? Probably not. But for this, maybe, maybe. Since all three of you asked, get ready with me to go see my man. So me and my man have literally been in like a situationship for nine years, but that's literally because like he's just really scared to commit and he's been hurt before. And like, I totally understand that. Like that's like so real. He was like, what's the point of having a title if we already do like relationship things? And I'm like, you're so right. And all my friends ask me like, why does he never post you on social media? Like, why doesn't he ever post you? And it's because he's just a private person. Like. He doesn't want his business out there. Like he wants it to be like really like, you know, between me and him. And I'm like, like, he's just so protective of me. Like my friends think it's a red flag that he lives with his baby mama. But honestly, I just think they're just being jealous. Literally the fact that like all these women are like jealous of our relationship. Like these women will literally go through lengths to try to get me to break up with him. Like this one girl literally DM me last week saying that she's pregnant by him. But it's like, girl, I didn't see it. Like just because you have an ultrasound photo and you have a picture of like my boyfriend like in the picture with you. Like that's like not concrete proof. Like that was literally AI. And yeah, he may have like nine kids but like he's a good dad i always give him like my paycheck because he's just such a hard working provider like of course you're gonna get my whole paycheck and just because my man cheated on me like 47 times doesn't mean he doesn't love me because at the end of the day he knows where his home is it literally doesn't matter like how many times he's cheated on me with because out of all the girls that he's been with he still picked me at the end of the day and my boyfriend's like super helpful he like buys groceries and brings them to his cousin's house like he's just such a thoughtful helpful guy and the best part is like when he borrows my car he literally like cleans my car out for me like he takes all the girly stuff out he takes like all the rhinestone steering wheel stuff out like everything pink like he literally cleans my car and then puts it back when he comes home and he may yell at me and be really mean to me but that's only because he's just misunderstood and he's just going through stuff he literally turned me against my own family but they were like toxic anyway so this is the finished look i just gotta keep it down because it's like three o'clock in the morning and like that's the only time i can go see my boyfriend because like you know his baby mama's like at a night shift and all that stuff so like that's like the only time i could see him but like um yeah um if you guys want this look just go on my tiktok shop Yo, one thing about Nicki Minaj, she's literally- Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're not talking about the Queen Nicki like that, like. Don't you live on 11224 Snickerdoodle Avenue in Boonesville, Georgia? And don't you work at 333 Trickadee Drive? And don't you drive a Mercedes Benz with a dent in the back of the car? And isn't it missing some car payments? And isn't this your boss's phone number? If you let me finish, I was literally trying to say that Nicki Minaj is one of the greatest rappers of all time. My bad, girl. Let, let me let me let me delete the tweet. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete it. Anyway, girl. I love games like these. Why is it not? How am I supposed to? Am I supposed to? How do I? I just realized you're supposed to tap the screen, like I said in the beginning. What? <laughs> I really love your top. Where'd you get it? Shein. Wait, what's it called? Like, what did you type for it? Pink shirt. Girl, who sings this song? I could not find it on Shazam. Well, yeah, he's like an underground rapper. He didn't even release this song yet. Like, well, who's the singer and how'd you get the song? Well, like, he gave it to me personally. And I'd rather not really say who he is because he's just really low-key about his music. Like, he just like being private like that, for real. Girl, where you get your lip gloss at? Oh, I got it at the mall. Wait, what store did you get it from then? Honestly, I forgot. Like, the store closed down like 145 years ago, so... What? I think I got, like, the last one. Are you serious? Girl, I had the best seafood last night. It was mad good. Oh, I saw your Instagram story yesterday. Where was that place called? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, sis. Like, you my friend and whatever, but, like, it's a really personal spot for me. And it's a place where I could just go to unwind and relax. And it's really just sacred and personal. Like, honestly, if I didn't post about it, then you wouldn't have asked for real. Like, to be honest, I don't even think you actually hungry. Like, you only just saying that because you saw what I was eating. Like, it's nothing personal to you, girl, but it's like, I just can't stand a biter. Like, I hate when people copy me for real. Like, like, it's just something that I just like to eat by myself. And I'm just really personal. Excuse me. I need to tell you something urgent. You is a badass bitch. Don't ever let no man tell you that you're not a baddie. Who told you to look this Thank good? Thank you. I am loving that Synthetica Party City wig. I just love the synthetics of it. You giving Dora a run for her money. I love it. I love the uneven wig. I just love it.
you will have the best acting gig in The Incredibles. I can, I'm telling you right now. Like, you really cute. Yes. And girl, look at Thank that you. Apple Watch. Look at that Apple Watch. You was a baller. You was a baller. Stop flexing on us. I know your husband don't play about your cooking, especially your pot roast. I just know it. And I know you be making the best chili in the town. Girl, you was Thank giving. You. Anyways, I'm going to need you to move up because you holding up the line, baby. Keep it moving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bye. I'm sorry, but the way y'all obsess over these celebrities like they know y'all is mad weird to me. Like, we live in a day and age where- Mother! Mother! You wanna take that, bitch? Yes, Nikki! Come on, Demetria! You better eat! Chew, Doja! Chew! 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 Come on, Megan! Come on! Eat! Eat! Damn, Callie finished before I even took my phone out. Like, what? Bums away or whatever Nikki just said. I'm just saying, I wish I put more energy into like a job application than like these people like. You guys, I'm at Erewhon and I've been itching to try this new smoothie. This is Hailey Bieber's smoothie and we're gonna try it together. You guys know me, we have to talk about this packaging. It's giving so Gorgina, so glazed, like shut up girl. The pigmentation is so delish, I can literally explode. This is such an LA girl vibe, like I'm literally so obsessed. Okay, I think we should try it now. Okay, we're gonna try this in three, two, actually if you want my eyelashes, you can click the link below on my TikTok shop, yes. Three, to can we talk about la weather really quick okay 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 don't jump me okay three two one oh my oh my i'm obsessed i'm so obsessed right now babe you have to try this you're gonna explode Mm. I know! Uh, this was so good. I'm gonna give this a 1 out of 10 because it was so expensive. It was like 18 bucks. I will be doing a giveaway and giving away my own smoothie. Let me know what ridiculously overpriced thing that I should try next. Oh my gosh, I'm so fat. I look like an Oompa Loompa. <clears throat> I said I'm so big. I'm a whale. I'm a giant whale. Oh my gosh, I'm so no, big. No, girl, you're not fat. You're fine. You're beautiful. I'm literally bigger than you. Girl, why would you say that about yourself? You're so pretty. Like, don't you ever call yourself fat, okay? You are a literal queen. You are so beautiful. Don't you ever say that about yourself, okay? You are not big. If I ever hear you say that about yourself again, I'm sit in that chair and stop fussing around. Give me a tablet. I want to hold it. Break. Ah, what's up, little man? How what do you, you say to him? Hi, Mr. Chris. How are you today? Hi, Chris. How you doing, baby? I'm doing all right. How you doing, Ms. Robinson? How's your mama, Chris? I ain't seen that Sunday service. What's going man, on? Man, my mama done broke her bag, man. What? Yeah, but she gonna be all right, though. Roar! Shut up when grown folks is talking. Mommy, can I have my tablet? What? Wait, what happened? Happened. Yeah, she slipped on the banana peel and fell into a jar of mayonnaise. It was mm. crazy. You see my son? Hi, Chris. How you doing? I'm Ms. Robinson. Mm. You got tall. Yeah, he did, ain't he? Come on, little man. Come get in the chair. Get in the chair, baby. Get in the chair. Yeah, I'm looking at colleges yeah, right now. I could have sworn you was like... I right, superstar. What style we getting today, little man? I want that one. No. Mommy. No. No. no I don't no, want no, that. No, 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 no. Why? That style is too grown. I want number six. What? No. Yeah, number Mommy. six. No design, no. no style, ball like his daddy. But I'm trying to grow my hair so I can get dressed. Like, Mommy, why would you make Who's me get money is it? You got dress money? No. You got dress money? No. Exactly, because you don't take care of that room mm. or take care of them grades. So how you going to mm. take care of them dreads? Boy. Exactly. Boy. Sorry, little man. Boss lady's the one with the money. When you get older, you can spend it on any style you want. Mm -hmm. Make it short. I want it gone. Mm. I want it gone. Mm. But, Ma, they're going to smack the back of my head in school. Like, okay, well, want... you better learn how to defend yourself, baby. Ma, dreads are not even Yeah, I want a gun. When you get older and something happens to you in the street and they're going to look at your hairstyle, I don't want that. No. Stop fidgeting in the chair. Hi, hey, Ms. Robinson. Yeah, how you doing? Mm. Ma. How you doing, baby? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. You getting ready yeah. for graduation? Yeah. I have been viciously single, so who's my man? No. Okay, let's be realistic. Like, okay. All right, that was better, because I don't know why you did that. Oh, okay, marketer. Let's see his sign. Oh! <laughs> I'm picky. I get that's why I'm single, but, like, let me do this again. Okay, that was that was a test. That was... What happened to that consistent number that I got before that was... Okay, there we go. We're getting somewhere. I was scared a little bit, but... Oh! 
I think I'm gonna like this one. Okay, okay Virgo. All right. Let's see the face, though. Let's see the face. Ah! Babe, she just my coworker. It's not that serious. It is serious because how are you gonna say happy birthday to another female? Like to me, that's a body. Like what? you might as well cheat it on Yo, you. You wanna be wild? No. Her? You wanna be wild? No. You wanna be wild? Now, girl, why would you go and block Jamal like that? Because he wanna sit here and tell me his grandma passed away. Like I can't do what a dude that be having bad days. Mm, like mm -hmm. no, that's too many bad days. Yeah, for me. that's like, too many. How you gonna hold the door open for another female? Oh, like no. that's a, a body. body. That's a body. Am I in the wrong? No, girl, that's a exactly, body. Exactly, because like you shouldn't let that door slam in her face. Like, did you hear that Beyonce is half amphibian? Where'd you read that? I read it on the shave room. They were saying how like. Wow, you look so beautiful. Thank you. Of course, shorty. Wait, are you wearing Skechers? Uh, yes. What's wrong with no, you? No, I, I, I can't do with a man that wears Skechers. What? So you're not going to tell me how your date with Tyler went? Like, Girl, I didn't even get in the car. What you mean you didn't get in the car? What happened? Like, Because he had the audacity to pick me up in a Kia Soul. Like, yeah. as a man, why are you driving a Kia Soul? Like, I yeah. might as well walk. Oh, my. <laughs> you already know what time it is. No. Okay, so... <laughs> Shamia, I ain't even touched okay, you sorry, yet. Sorry, sorry, Put your head back. Ah! 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 <laughs> Shamia, did I even touch you? No, mom. Okay, so stop messing around. <laughs> stop moving. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to sit still? <laughs> 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 Let me bump the ends. No! Hi, baby. Hi, Grandma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you some greens over on the stove. Thanks, Grandma. I am starving. I didn't eat in 20 minutes. You mean you didn't eat? Well, yeah, 20 minutes ago, but I'm fine oh, now. Oh, Grandma. Grandma, wait, wait. Grandma, what are you what are you doing, Grandma? Oh, that's for me, that's for me. I take the damn dollar for she see. Grandma, it's 110 degrees. Can I please turn on the AC? No, Gra no, no. I ain't turning on that but AAC. You can Grandma, open up that window, baby. I'm no. just fine right now. So what's your mama say to you? Grandma, she lied, bro. Like, I mean, uh, I mean, she was telling a story that was allegedly incorrect due to unsupported information. Mm-hmm, go on. Grandma, I'm going to the store. Wait. Wait, you want me to get you something? Or? I had a dream. I had a dream. Grandma. I had a dream, baby. Uh. You hear me out? All right, Grandma, I'm heading out. All right, out. baby. Mm -hmm. Call me when you get in safe. I will. Hello? Jeremiah, it's been four minutes. Why haven't you called me to tell me that you got in safely? Grandma, I'm still in your driveway. It's been four minutes. Oh. All right, baby. All right. Hi, how are you? Um, I'll just take- Nay! What? Hi, welcome to Wingstop. Hi, Anthony J. Can I get the 10-piece mango habanero combo with all flats, please? Ah! Wingstop, go ahead. Hi, um, can I just get nine gallons of ranch? You don't want no food? And eh, no, just the nine gallons of ranch, please. Sir, it is never that serious, like, can I get a name? Yeah, it's, a uh, Jordan R. Uh, are you gonna get that? Probably not. I mean, you wanna get it? No. Wing style, go ahead. Hi, can I get an order of a thousand wings? Let me get 50 lemon pepper dry rub, bone in all flats, 100 hickory smoked barbecue, 150 garlic parmesan dry rub, all drums, 400 Cajun wings, 250 Louisiana rub, dry rub, uh, and 50 mango habanero with extra ranch and a Diet Coke. Will that be all? Uh, yep, that's it. Can I get a name? It's Joe M. Okay, Joe, what can I get for you today? What? I literally just told you my whole order. Well, you should have started off with a name. This ain't no Chick-fil-A. What? So normally I don't respond to comments like this because usually the person behind the account is somebody that just hates themselves or they just want to get a reaction just for validation. And I'm nowhere near 300 pounds, but I am a big girl. But my question is, why do y'all assume that somebody does not have value or is not enough because of their weight? Y'all be so quick to call somebody fat as an insult thinking that makes you feel better, like... I could still pull dudes however I look. I could pull dudes 400 pounds, 200 pounds, 100 pounds, whatever it is. 
But it's like, why do y'all assume that because somebody's bigger, they don't have standards or they don't have value or they don't care about themselves? I'm going to always have standards no matter how I look. I'm tall, so I'm going to want to date somebody that's tall. I notice every time a big girl, especially somebody who's big, talks about height, y'all immediately attack them for their weight. And y'all are forgetting that weight is something that people can just change. Like, I don't know what you was trying to do with this comment, but you very much did not eat. Your stomach is growling. I can hear it from like 10 miles away. My size has not stopped me from making money, from meeting new people, from getting all these opportunities. Like, so I don't understand why y'all think that somebody's size means that they don't love themselves or they shouldn't have these standards or they're thinking too high. Like, nobody is thinking too high when it comes to their standards. Y'all don't know these people in real life. Y'all don't know who's in their DMs. Y'all don't know who's in my DMs. But you're saying because I'm bigger that I shouldn't have standards? What are you talking about? Okay, so this is everything that I have learned from being on social media in 2023. <clears throat> you are not allowed to have brown cabinets. You are not allowed to have a Roku TV. You are not allowed to have toothbrushes in your bathroom because of boo-boo air. You are not allowed to have a white refrigerator. You are not allowed to eat at the Cheesecake Factory. If your friend is simply venting to you, it is still a red flag because she is a crisis friend. You are not allowed to wear Shein or Fashion Nova because it means that you are broke. You are not allowed to rewear the same outfit or the same shoes for more than two consecutive days. You are not allowed to wear box braids for longer than two weeks. Honorable mention, knotless braids cannot be worn for more than four days or people will make fun of your hair. You are not allowed to wear box braids to a birthday dinner. You are not allowed to dress nice or wear makeup to your friend's birthday dinner. You are not allowed to have fun past the age of 30. Honorable mention, once you turn 25. If you do not like carne asada, then you are a narcissist. If you do not like cereal, then you are a narcissist. Biting ice cream is a sign of a trauma response. You are not allowed to drink strawberry lemonade as a man or that is sassy. You are not allowed to have popcorn ceilings. You are not allowed to work a nine to five job. If your boyfriend doesn't let you use him as a step stool, then he hates you and it is a sign of avoided attachment style. Press on nails are ghetto. You are not allowed to date someone who is either two years younger than you or two years older than you, even though you guys are both adults. If you are a celebrity influencer or a clout chaser, but flying Southwest Airlines, you are broke. You are not allowed to breathe or you will be considered broke. Did I miss anything? All right, happy Friday. I'm feeling very generous today, so I think I'm gonna put on a movie. Oh, yes! 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 yes, finally. Now, before Ms. I- Ms. Bauer, excuse me, can I use the bathroom, please? No, you already went four months ago. What, are you serious? I don't know, guys. I think I'm having no. a little bit of trouble setting it up. Something's up with the no, Wi-Fi. No. Try putting the, the cable to another outlet. Like, try the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I don't know, we'll, we'll like, try, please, we'll try. Please. Wait, can, can Wait, you just put Bell, it in like, I can, I can um, the Wi-Fi cord? Do, let me try, All let me right, try. I called Mr. Johnson. He said it's going to be fixed in a couple of days. Can we no. But in the meantime, I did remember that you guys have a test on Tuesday. Oh. So I want you guys instead to open up your textbooks. Oh. Yeah, no, no, open up your textbooks. We're going to actually do some work today. No, oh. movie. no, open up to oh, chapter man. three and take out a loose leaf and number two pencil. Ms. Bell, can I All try right, time, so who can tell me? I love your ring. Thank you. He got it from Pandora. Wow, that is so Excuse good. me. Can I get everybody's attention, please, real quick? <clears throat> Thank you, y'all, for coming to our engagement party. I just want to give a special toast to my soon-to-be wife, the future Mrs. Robinson. Oh, right. Come on, Shauna. All right, all right, all right. But Shauna, you've been here for me for a very long time. You stayed in a 21-year situation with me while I was working on myself, and now I'm finally ready to settle down. That's Even though the woman I actually wanted to marry already said no, you stepped it up. You stepped it up. Oh and you have allowed me to cheat on you multiple times, and you still took me back, and that's how I know you are a good woman. Mm -hmm. And when I cheat, I always feel so disgusted. But to make myself feel better, I always be thinking about you every time I cheat. You make the best meals. I look forward to coming home every night after a long day of cheating because I know where my home is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for accepting my proposal. And even though I was using you as a placeholder to get the girl that I actually wanted, but that girl ended up getting married to another man. So I realized that she was the one this whole time. I was blind. I didn't see it. And even though I cheated on you with all of your homegirls, that just shows that they were fake friends. And the only real friend you got 
is me. Come on now. And even though I turned you against your whole family and made you choose me over them, that just shows that you're loyal, mm. trustworthy, mm. and you are good enough to be my wife. Yes. Come on. You have really showed me what loyalty is. And you is a down chick. Yes, she mm. really is. a down chick. And that's why I love you, Shauna. I still might cheat in this marriage, but at the end of the day, I'm going to always come home. That's yes. what it's about. Girl, you snagged a good one. I can't wait for it to be my turn to be picked. So I already took up most of y'all time. But with that being said, cheers, everybody, to Shauna. Yes, Miss Evans, my leg randomly just fell off. Like, well, do you have a pass? Uh, no, I didn't think I needed one. No, nope, I can't take care of you if you don't what? have a pass. You... Go back what? to class. But my no. leg fell off. What no, no. Hi, Ryan. How are ya? Hi, I got hurt playing dodgeball in gym, and I think I have a concussion. A concussion? Hold on. I know just the trick. Let me give you a minute. Wait, what? Miss Evans, my arm is broken. Honey, just put your arm in rice and then go back to class, okay? Rice? Yeah, it's hard for me to breathe and like- I'm listening, baby. I'm listening. I'm listening. I promise I'm listening. Shut Dude, up. ask her. I mean, stop. I don't want to ask her. I'm so scared. <laughs> Shut up. Yo. Ladies, can I help you? This is not recess. Yeah, she needs a- She needs a- She's on her peer- She needs- I'm sorry, did you say what? You said you needed a pad? Oh my god, why so loud? Okay, so what seems to be the problem? Um, I'm missing an ear, so. Mm, mm -hmm. Let me get some more yes. hand sanitizer while you talk to me about that. I have a headache. I think I need to go home. So do I. And I'm not calling your mom. Please! Mm -hmm. I'm not Please! calling your mom. Nope. Miss Evans, I'm feeling nauseous and I'm gonna throw. <laughs> Yeah, I, I gotta go home. Yeah, you fine, baby. Tough it up. Tough it up. Tough what? it up. Go back to class. You got this. What? You got this. You got this. You just need some water. Brianna, you need to let him go. I'm never gonna love somebody again. Like, you don't get it. Like, Bro, that dude used to bite ice cream with his teeth. Like, what are you talking about? You gotta learn how to love yourself. And Oh, girl, that better not be who I think it is. He wants closure. Oh my god. See, I knew he was gonna say that. Don't do it. Do not fall for the trap. Let me let me just get the closure. Oh let me just get the closure no, I need and then I'm no, done with him for good. No, like no, no, no. You do not need closure from him. I just want that closure. Just no. let me get that closure and I'll be over you him. Like it's easy to me. Like I'm him. I'm you I can move on from him that easy. Like No, you can't. Are you I'm getting closure. You? No. I'm getting closure. I'm not gonna do anything with him. Like Hey girl. Dang! Well, I see you got your closure all right. How was it? It was good. We we really talked things out. Mm -hmm. We really talked things out. Like we really connected and everything. So, mm, so so you done, mm -hmm. huh? You, you done for real this time? I'm definitely over him. I, I'm definitely over him. I'm definitely over you him. You sure? Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Where's the bathroom? The bathroom? Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, girl. Thank you. A spider. Where? Oh, I thought you said free sale. Can I sit here? <laughs> you cannot sit there. You cannot sit there. No, 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 no. What time is it? Um, it's uh six o'clock. Are you happy to be in Paris? Yes, I will have the croissant. I can see your lace. What lace? That lace. The one right there. That lace. Hi, excuse me. Do you have the keys to open up the glass <laughs> case? <laughs> what? Hi, excuse me. Can you point me to the baby stroller section? Ma'am, you in the hardware section. You trying to build a stroller yourself? No. Excuse me, I really need someone to open up the glass case so I can get the Nintendo Switch. There's another associate right there. Uh, where? I don't see anybody. What? Sir, that's a big onion that you scanned in there. It kind of looks like a Samsung TV. Well, it is not. Hi, excuse me. I, oh, um, I was wondering if you could help me find... I just took my wig off, so that means I'm not working. But you're in the aisle, so clearly that means... No, that... I'm not working. Um, hello, you're not gonna break it up? Like, that's not my department. That's security. What? Um, excuse me, this fabric softener is $11? That's too much. Then don't buy it. Well, I need fabric softener, so, I mean... I mean, you either buy it or you stink. I mean, you already kind of stink, so, I mean, like, I'm not surprised. Excuse me, why are you laying on top of the apples like that? I'm just That's why they be rotting mad quick, like... Okay. <laughs> Can I see your receipt? Are you serious? Let me, let me, let me tell you something. Your, your, your hair, your hair, th these girls is not really your friend. They, they act like they your friend, but they not your friend. Like, I, I, I'm telling you, they, 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 they really... <sighs> 
girl low-key i think this dude at chipotle like me like uh, no don't 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 make that face don't make that face i'm just saying like he be giving me extra chicken on my bowl I'm not gonna lie. Like, sometimes I really think I'm gonna never love again. Like, like I just don't think I'm gonna ever find love. Like, I'm just so over it. Like, yo, my manager gets on my nerves, bro. Like, why are you wearing blue? Like, blue is such an ugly color on you. Like, that don't even look good. Like, why are you wearing blue? Okay, so I'm not sure if you can hear me or not because I'm in the library. But let, tell me how this cute boy literally walked by my table as I was studying. Yo, sis, I'm really about to drop out. Like, every day I wonder why I didn't just be an influencer. Like, why didn't I get on my Zoom in 2020? Like, I do not want to do this calcul- Okay, so you might hear a little bit of chewing, but I'm just eating chips right now. So let me tell you about how good these chips are, right? So I got them from, like, this little corner store. I right, so boom. Let me tell you about this boy that I met on the train, right? So he was looking at me. I was looking at him. Oh! My mom really called me in the middle of me making a voice note. Okay, so anyways, as I was trying to say, like, oh my gosh, I accidentally let go of the button too quick. But anyways, so this dude, I was looking at him, he was looking at me, and he was like, oh, like, I want to take you out. And I was just like, okay, this is really random, but I low-key think I want to get my body done. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm watching Love is Blind right now. Like, I, I'm so, I'm not trying to spoil it for you. I'm not trying to spoil it. But that dude, Uche, like, oh my gosh. like he Girl, just, I can't. Oh my gosh, girl, I got here as soon as I could. What's going on? Yeah, so like, I didn't want to say anything, but I'm low-key feeling away about my dinner last night. Wait, what happened? You didn't like the Ugg boots I got you? Well, I don't know how to say this, but like, I feel like you was trying to upstage me. What? Upstage you? How? Girl, you looked mad good last night. Well, for starters, like... You came in with your hair done. Like, okay. Why would you come in with your hair done? You said look camera ready. I wanted to. Be I know, but like you didn't have to get it laid like that. Like what? you didn't have to have your edges laid. Like you could have just had your leave out out what? and looking raggedy. Like Are you, you were really serious? trying to upstage me, and I felt some type no, of. No, way. no, 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 no. You were the one that showed up with a stinky wig, and your lace was showing. Okay, well, like, like that's also weird. like the thing that like really bothered me is that you had lotion on your hands. Like you should have came to my birthday dinner, Ashley. Bro, you was a weirdo. Because that's right now. upstaging you out of your mind you the one that never wear lotion you be starting a fire with your knuckles girl because i don't yeah, even but know. like sis like i feel like you only tried to this. look nice because you knew my man was gonna be there what you mean jacquay nobody wants him he has missing teeth and is unemployed okay like, well like jacquay was looking at you because so like Jacque that's why i, like, that that I low-key like, feel away because it's like why are you dressing up like like, why are you wearing Versace and you had me come in and, like, she in? Like, I showed like you, my you dress. shouldn't even be upstaging First of all, Jacquay would cheat on you with a rock if it told him it was interesting. I'm just saying, like, moving forward, like, when I my, have, like, future gatherings where my man's gonna be there, like, you need to dress down. Like, you can't be dressing like that. Like, the only oh person my, that's supposed to dress nice is me. And I feel you like you look was trying nice, to though. upstage me. But like, you're giving all this energy to me and other girls look better than me. Like, Yeah, what? like, I feel like... You like, are delusional. I feel like you're trying to compete with me, and it's not going to happen. Are you happen. kidding me? In the group chat, you literally said, dress like it's well, runway. Baby, like, like, I didn't even know. Like, you told me that you were going to wear something cute. And yet, I but showed you But I didn't you know you were going to come in like that. So, I'm in trouble because I know how to melt my lace, and I know how to moisturize my hands. Like, Okay, oh, okay. well, we're not friends no more because okay, I can't good. be having people that good. be jealous of me you know for what? real. Like, Let me tell you I'm something. just trying to protect my opinion. Okay, that's fine. Your underarms stink. How was your you weekend? Yeah. Reports by end of day. Morning, guys. <gasps> oh my God, Who's Oh that my girl? gosh, you look great. La, 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 wow. La, 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 la. She comes with a new. Hair I thought she was sick say. yesterday. Is that why she clocked out? Must have been some sick day. Didn't she have a bob yesterday? How I saw her with a six thirteen bust down at lunchtime. I need whatever she's having in her hair. This is her third is style real, this right? week. Or is it like? Is it like plastic or is it real? Like, I don't think it's real. You never look. I'm obsessing. Never look. We are so obsessed. Is she girl. Harry Potter? Because I think she a witch. That's girl. some sorcery Macaroni, right there. Macaroni, cheese, and rice. Oh my goodness. Khadija, you look Khadija, amazing. That's crazy. You look like a new person. <gasps> I almost did not Khadija recognize Khadija from Khadija. accounting. That's insane. No, what? Khadija, I'm dying to know. How long did that take? Six hours. Yo, no, no, no. In a chair for that long. Wow. I'm telling you, I wouldn't I be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. I really don't know. I couldn't do this it. This looks amazing Khadija, on you. I love this color. give us a 360 color. a little bit. Whoa. 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 Whoa.
That was amazing. Don't whack us oh now, Khadija. Don't do that. that Khadija, I am that so obsessed with Wait, you. Wait, so does like, she grow her hair overnight? That's what How I was saying. Me and Betty from Finance were saying the same thing. Like, she looks so good. Wow, we just love wow. your hair, girl. You went from Fantasia to Erica Badu in less than 24 hours. That's a yes. I have one photo in my hands. And this photo represents the girl that will still be in the running towards becoming America's next top model. We'll start with you, Jada. You are the worst participant in this cycle. The judges wonder, why is she still here? You're a loser. Mm. You're dirty. Get her. You take bad photos. The judges are wondering, what does she have to offer? This competition is like a joke to you. It's like you're being kept here for ratings. You're just a terrible model. You smell like onions and you were 32 seconds late to the photo shoot. But some of the judges think you have potential. But when are we going to see it? And now, Christine, you went through so much in this competition. You allowed us to shave your head bald. You get top photo every week. You even took a picture on top of a skyscraper risking I your did. Oh, please. life in this competition. You showed up to the photo shoot sick and vomiting, and you still gave us that good shot. You even spent your whole entire life savings just to get a plane to audition. And that right there, is ambition. So who will it be? The waste of space or the strong model? <gasps> Christine, you're so strong for being eliminated. Thank you. You're welcome, Jada. What? Are you serious? Christine, I hope you getting eliminated has made you stronger. What? There's the door. Dang, it's about time. You know you keeping me here because I'm messy and I like to start drama in the house and I'm only here for ratings, so. Hi, dear. You are such a queen and you are so beautiful. Your TikTok videos are life-changing and inspirational. I hope you are at peace. Anyways, enough of all that. We got a 613 bust down glueless wear and go wig that we need you to promote. You are required to record a total of 72 videos for the total price of $10. It will not come pre-plucked, not pre-bleached, and you're going to have to cut the lace. So good luck. Matter of fact, I changed my mind. We only finna pay you $5, but at least you get a glueless wig. But anyways, love, these wigs are high quality and so pretty and beautiful, just like you, queen. So please let us know, dear, and have a very blessed day. I'm looking forward to your email. Hey besties, I finally moved into my new house and I'm giving you guys a house tour. <laughs> this is the front of my house facing Applebush Avenue. It's so big and gigantic, you can literally find all the details on Zillow. Come inside with me while I give you every single detail about the floor planning. Welcome to the inside of my house. Oh, and don't worry about locking the door. There's something wrong with it. I always have to fidget back and forth with it, so I just keep it unlocked. This is my main living room. I just love the wide open space. It just lets all the people, the light in. It lets all the light in. Now we're in my closet where I keep all of my prized possessions that are worth $10 million. And in my closet, right behind my pink shoes, is my secret box. What's my passcode again? Oh, my birthday. Oh, four, oh, nine. This is my bedroom. It has the most perfect view of Apple Avenue. It's so nice. And this is the side of my house where you can also see on Zillow. And last but not least, here is my lovely garage. Well, I gotta kick you guys out now because this is the end of the house tour and I gotta go to the gym. I just love going to the gym at 10 a.m. Every day at 10 a.m. Bye guys! Yo, tell me how I had mad roaches in my bed last night. No way, girl. That's a sign that money is coming your way, sis. You lying. Mm -mm. Let me add more crumbs to my bed. Nah, that's how I know November gonna be a good month. It already smelled like money in here. <sighs> Y'all smell that? No. no. I mean, I just farted, so. Girl, I just saw a dinosaur in my backyard. It was crazy. Like, you never. Wait, that's a sign that somebody talking about you behind your back. No way. Mm -hmm. You gotta cut that person off. How you know? Well, I was reading this horoscope. Girl, we got into another argument again. What? Again? Yes, and it was so stupid. Like, See, that's a sign that macaroni is in Gatorade. Right. It's messing everybody up. <gasps> oh, my horoscope just came in. Jada, you need to Be stop Be careful, reading. Squash. A new vegetable is coming back to your garden to reconcile. Oh, my. Oh, it might be no. Jamal. He's a zucchini moon. The one that cheated on you for a Taco Bell coupon? Like, okay, but that's just me. Whoa. Y'all felt that shift? No. 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 Oh. How y'all not feel the shift? 
Tyreek, 31. I'm looking for a short-term relationship. Alfred, 29. I need a woman that can cook and clean. Josh, 25. That's it. Pookie, 31. You gotta have good vibes. Michael, 26. I love fishing. Terrence, 29. I'm unemployed, but I expect my lady to have a job. Nasir, 34. Me and my natural habitat. Uh, Kyle, 27. Here's my dog. Marcus, 36. Females! Unknown, 31. I don't know how to delete this. Jay, 28. I like pineapples on pizza. Joaquin, 40. I expect my woman to have a career. Nope, I'm done. I'm done. <sighs> you guys, get ready with me to go to the airport and my flight leaves in four minutes. You guys, I'm utterly so stressed out right now. I just came back from a brand trip with Zebra Beauty and now I have another brand trip in Tulum with Dorito Cosmetics. Like I am so drained right now. I literally filmed two YouTube videos today and fed my child. Like today was a lot guys. Like I am so drained. My anxiety is through the roof. Speaking of my child, hi baby. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys, I got a pet pig. I'm not sure what I'm gonna name her yet. My mom wanted me to name her Oink, but I'm thinking about Bacon or Porky. Like, is that tone deaf? This Charlotte Tilbury is eating me up, I fear. Okay, so this is clearly the finished look. I just wanted to go for like a no makeup, makeup kind of look. Okay, so let me just see how I'm doing on time. Okay, so I have 60 seconds to go to JFK, go through TSA, and make it to my gate. Okay, let me just put on an outfit. Okay, so this is the finished look. You know, it's giving like absolute cheetah girl. I just wanted to keep like a low profile because like, you know, I don't want people recognizing me and like, you know, I'm famous, duh. So, oh, outfit details, okay. Um, top, lavash, um, skirt is babouche, obvi, shoes are Jay-Z, and shades are Chips Ahoy. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. Bye. Hey, Janae. Hey. I noticed that your team's notification was yellow for five minutes. What were you doing, like, during those five minutes? Well, I had to get up and use the bathroom. Okay. Am I not allowed to Okay, go? well, if you're gonna go to the bathroom, you gotta let me know. I know I'm not your boss, but I am on a higher level than you, so not I can really. tell you what to do. I'm not saying that I don't trust you, but I'd rather be CC'd on every single email that you send. Why? Okay, so I noticed that you sent this email, but, like, I didn't get a chance to check it first. So, oh. you know, moving forward. So I noticed that you put this in your email, but, like, honestly that's not how i would have done it okay i mean i have been here longer than you see if that was me i would have done that in like five minutes i'm just saying that like this is like the right way to do it even though you don't have to follow it but it is the right way i just want to remind you that i've been here longer than you so i know a lot more things than you do wait where are you going i'm going on lunch since it's 12 o'clock and that's when we all take lunch I get that everybody goes to lunch at 12, but you should still let me know because oh. if I don't know where you are, it's going to be like a real big disaster. So like moving forward. So two plus two equals four. I'm sorry. She's a little new here. So please disregard everything that she just said. And I'm going to tell you the exact same thing that she said, but it sounds a lot better coming out of my mouth. So two plus two is four. What? Who entered this in? Um, I'm not going to say names, but I did show Janae already how to do it. And I had her do it by herself. You told me to. Okay, Janae, we're going to have a little chat in like my little office. Okay. Um, I feel like you should have informed me when you were going to the bathroom because that's just not really team player vibes. Hey, so next week, I'm going to need you to work oh, on- Oh, I'm going to be out of office all next week though. Chris actually uh, approved my PTO, so I'm going to be all out next week. Was I- informed about that no because i went directly to our boss and he okay i know he's our boss but i'm kind of second in command so i should know about every single thing that hey the billing department just let us know about the whole situation but i took care of everything though okay i kind of want to piggyback off of your email because i don't really like what you just said and i don't trust you no so but everything was canceled hey frank jumping in here Okay, yes, happy career stop. day. I see each and every one of you are dressed up. I'm going to go around the room and ask to see what you guys want to be when you grow up, okay? Shh, be quiet. All right, Jason, what do you want to be? I'm dressed up as a SoundCloud rapper. Are you serious? Yeah, you said career. Oh, okay. Uh, Dior, what, what are you dressed up as? I'm dressed up as Jada Waita. I'm also a rapper's baby mama. Are you Ari? Yes. Chance, I know both your parents are lawyers. What do you want to be? I want to have a podcast where I spread my ridiculous views and talk about females all day. Um, okay, Paris Rain. I'm going to be a lash tag because, like, to be honest, with your eyelashes kind of look bad. Sincere. Either a dentist or a scammer. I'm not really sure yet. Kaden. I want to be like Tristan Thompson when I grow up.
Amiri? My daddy unemployed, so I want to be like him. But if I do get a job, I'm going to rock my hips on TikTok. Bella, Bella Dream? I want to be like Natalie Nunn and be on Baddies East. Girl, I also put that. I put that I want to be Krishan. Jesse, my smartest student in the class. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a famous actress. Okay, that's reason. On Tubi. Okay, I quit. Hey, so I've been thinking about this a lot and sometimes being an influencer is kind of hard. So I was thinking about maybe hiring an assistant. So yes, the rumors that all two of you have been spreading were true. I'm hiring an assistant. I do not have the application in front of me, but these are a few of the things that I look for in an assistant. So number one, the salary is going to be about $400 a year. I feel like that's kind of fair. $400 is like way too generous. So maybe like $350, but yeah, I feel like that's fair. And yes, I will be also taking out taxes. What I'm also looking for is that I want you to be available at least 23 hours a day and you do get a nine minute lunch break. So that's like a total plus. Also, because I'm an influencer, I expect you to take every single picture of me. I am also looking for a therapist. So you must allow me to trauma dump on you. Also, you must be responsible for my Instagram captions. Pink Friday 2 just came out. There are no excuses for no captions. And you also have to be commenting and liking every single post that I make. If you don't, you will be fired. Also, if we're out in public together, do not post a location. Also, when we go out, there's like a hierarchy thing. If we are at a restaurant and ordering food and your food just happens to come before mine, you must wait for me. And when my food comes, you must wait until my camera eats first. Then I eat. Then you can eat. To be honest, it's just really insensitive, tone deaf, and unsafe at the fact that I'm recording a video and your half-bitten sandwich is on the table. Like, ew. Also, another simple task is I want you to check all of my emails, even on holidays. Like, 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 that's, like everything I'm saying is so, like, bare minimum. Also, once in a blue moon, as a perk, you do get PR packages because I receive so many, but you'll only get them if I do not like them. And that's kind of rare because I usually like my PR packages, so you kind of won't really get anything. Sometimes the packaging, the boxes are really cute. Like, you might keep the box. Also, this job does not have any paid time off, so any days that you miss, like let's say if you want to go on vacation, your salary will be deducted. Also, if I were to ever be canceled, you will be taking full responsibility on my behalf. And if you don't, I will still say it was you. Okay, I think that's everything. Let me know if you want to apply. Applications open on Christmas Day. Bye! Hi, Amanda. I just got your IM. You said you needed to talk to me? Hi, Fatima. Yes. <sighs> um, Come in, honey. You okay. Just close the door. You're not in trouble at all. Okay. Also, I don't want to be like rude or anything, but my name is Fatima, not Fatima. You keep saying Okay, it see, wrong. that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's that aggressive tone, you aggressive. know? Aggressive. You know, Fatima, some of your coworkers are a little bit concerned about your hostility. They feel that your personality is very aggressive and unsafe. And, unsafe? And, you know, we don't really want that, right? But I mind my business and I do my work and I even work overtime a lot. Like, how is Honey, that? Honey, I have gotten cornrows on my vacation in Jamaica before. So I see you. And I hear you. What? You know, your quiet personality has caused a lot of havoc and they don't think it's healthy in this situation. I'm sorry. I don't really understand how that's considered havoc. You know, I don't really know if they do that in your hood. What? But at Parker Solutions, we don't really do that here. Okay, I literally cannot believe you just whoa, said that to whoa. me. Calm down, sister. Don't pop off. Honey, I just want to see where your head's at. I'm just here to get down to the nitty gritty, the pit, the core, the bottom, the glute, the donkey of things. I just want to know if you are okay. I'm fine. To make this environment completely safe because we are all a family here and we are so worried about you. Is this about Rachel from Billing? All I said is that I don't want to be called that sis. Like Fatima. I give up. We at Parker Solutions want to ensure that you are comfortable. And Rachel has informed me that she meant no harm. She even looked it up on Urban Dictionary and she said it was a term of endearment. But that's not whoa, really- Whoa, whoa, whoa. See how you're raising your arms like that? That is the aggression that we're talking about. Are you serious? All I am saying is that you should engage more. You don't go to happy hours. You don't talk. You just do your work and go home. You know, you don't like to try the food at our potluck. You know, Brian from accounting even saw that you spit out his casserole and he was- we we all spit it out. That. Like, we just want you to be a team player. I didn't think that was part of my job description that you I had. You know, I feel like you and Shaniqua from accounting would be great friends. And you should definitely talk to her more. I thought you guys were sisters, obviously. Her name is actually Sarah. And we're not sisters. So. You're not? No. And before you go, one more thing. Fatima. Fatima, I was going to say that. I was going to say that. You definitely were you not, are but. on your team. We love you. What?